Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Naruto. Kill Orochimaru at the beginning. Chapter 21. Last time in Tuao village, Onoki personally ordered that in order to kill several hidden Anbu in Sunagakar village, he actually burned down the entire village, as well as a stronghold in the north of Sunagakar village. He ordered the Anbu to bomb, and the result was exploded in the wrong place. When Lao Zi said this, he shook his head, sighed heavily, and continued to drink a glass of wine. As he drank more and more, he talked more and more. For more than 10 years, he had long disliked Onoki. I have argued with him about various actions, but I just can't change some of Onoki's ways of doing things. If, if he had listened to me, the three wars would have ended long ago, and the Kingdom of Earth would have been stable long ago. More than 10 years of war have caused indelible damage to every country, but is there any point in fighting? What's the use of fighting to the death, who will swallow whom in the end? Aren't the five great ninja villages still the five great ninja villages? Lao Zi said, the corners of his eyes turned red. He was compassionate, but he couldn't stand what Onoki was doing, and he was very tormented inside. I can also see that I can't change this world, and I won't change them. I can just change myself. From now on, I will no longer care about the affairs of Yenian village. Do whatever you want, right? After saying that, he raised his neck to drink again. At this moment, a dozen shurikens flew towards him, two of which were aimed at his throat. Hinata Lanmo rolled up his sleeves and rolled aside the shuriken that was thrust at him. At the same time, Lao Zi turned over and had already left the tavern, followed closely by Hinata Lanmo. On the roof, more than a dozen people from the Anbu of Yenian village surrounded Lao Zi. A few people behind him were holding large scrolls. They were members of the sealing team. Lao Zi, you owe Yenian village so much. It's unreasonable to just leave like this. Even if you want to leave, you should return some things to us. The leading man has a strong build and a face. Wearing a mask, he looked at Lao Zi closely. They were talking about the tailed beast in his body, a Jinchuriki. Without the tailed beast, there was only one way to die. Iwagakur village's ability to remain evenly matched in three battles is directly related to the fact that they have two tailed beasts. Now that Lao Zi leaves, this will inevitably become a big loss to Iwagakur village. Onoki can live without Lao Zi, but he must not lose the tailed beast at this time. So, several waves of Anbu people were sent down with only one goal. It doesn't matter whether Lao Zi lives or dies. What matters is that the four tails must be brought back. Bullshit. Little Hanada Lanmo suddenly rushed in front of Lao Zi and said, You people are talking nonsense. What does he owe you? What does he owe you? How dare you say it? Several Anbu people looked at this child and were surprised, Who is this? He is quite courageous. Where did the doll come from? If you don't want to die, get out of here. You are the one who should get out, do you think I don't know? All you want is the tailed beast in his body, but when you used him as a Jinchuriki, did you ask his opinion? Hinata Lanmo he looked closely at the people in front of him and said. Lao Zi has been a Jinchuriki for more than 30 years, and no one has ever spoken for him. When he was a child, they said that he was the sharp sword of Iwagakur village and that he should protect Iwagakur village at all times. Over the years, he has protected it. They, but they will never understand the torture of conscience when he hurts others. He was at odds with Onoki, and all of them were targeting him instead of the issue, which made him increasingly frustrated with them. No one could see his pain, and even now, as they stood in front of him, they only wanted their weapons back instead of listening carefully to his voice. Lao Zi looked at the child standing in front of him and felt relieved. At least there was one person in the world who was willing to stand up and speak for him, and that was enough. Stop talking nonsense and just fight. Lao Zi's honest voice came out, and he rushed out like a flying sword. Melting escape, the technique of burning river rocks, melting escape, the technique of burning rivers and spitting fire, melting escape, the technique of direct burning. Lao Zi launched the attack, and Hinata Lanmo also fought with the two Anbu on the left. In an instant, the entire town was covered in magma, and the Anbu in Iwagakur village actually gathered more and more. Before, there were only a dozen people. In just 10 minutes, more than 20 Anbu gathered here. Is this a large number of people? It seems that Onoki is determined to take the four tails back. Earth escape, water escape ninja, others retreat, ceiling squad forward. 
The strong Anbu leader gave the order on the spot, and the Anbu people began to change formations. The water escape ninja began to launch water escape and melt escape. The nemesis of the fire escape was water escape. Hanada Lanmo frowned slightly when he saw this scene. Lao Zi's body had turned red, his eyeballs had turned orange, and the hair on his head all stood up. He had begun to invoke the tailed beast transformation. After so many years of being a Jinchuriki, he has become proficient in controlling tailed beasts. He wants to use the tailed beast state to fight off these Anbu people. But the other party came with more than 20 people and a ceiling class. It was obvious that they didn't want to let him go. Ding, congratulations to the master, the mirror copy of the four-tailed beast in the Jinchuriki's body is 100% successful. At this moment, Hanada Lanmo's system sent a message that the copy was successful, and now he can retreat. However, at this moment, Lao Zi is in danger, can he leave? Hurry up. At this moment, Lao Zi shouted. He moved quickly and was already in front of Hanada Lanmo. I will cover you, you leave quickly. Although this old man is stubborn, he treats him well and there is no way he will leave now. No, let me help you. Hanada Lanmo jumped up and started to form seals. Earth Escape, the art of Earth Dragon. The huge Earth Dragon emerged from the ground and rushed towards the ceiling squad behind the Anbu Ninja. Crystal Escape, Crystal Thorn. Suddenly, thousands of Crystal Escape Crystal Thorns condensed in the air, and they rushed towards the opponent. This is also a ninjutsu invented by Hanada Amo. It is a relatively simple but highly offensive ninjutsu in Crystal Release. He was the one in Wind Release. Chinfeng Randao was inspired and invented. What the hell? There were a lot of crystal thorns and the speed was very fast. Three people were immediately pierced into hedgehogs. And these crystal escapes were already aimed at the leader of the Anbu, the muscular man. He took a step back, bloodshot eyes were exposed. Just when his fingers were about to form a seal, the crystal thorns pierced his wrist. Let's go, Lao Zi. Hanada Lanmo ignored Lao Zi's danger of turning into a tailed beast, stepped forward, grabbed his wrist, and disappeared with a teleportation spell. And the crystal thorns on the scene had already rushed towards the twenty or so Anbu ninjas in front of them. The casters are gone, but the ninjutsu is still running. How strong is this chakra control? Fortunately, some people used earth escape to escape from the earth flow wall, some got underground, and some used water escape to prevent all the Anbu troops from being annihilated in this operation. Even so, they still lost five Anbu ninjas, and even the Anbu in this operation. The leaders were stabbed and seriously wounded. Go and investigate. Investigate now. Who is that child? The muscular man shouted loudly, and several Anbu jumped away and chased after him. On the high lowest mountains in the north, Hanada Lanmo took Lao Zi's wrist. The two looked at each other and laughed. Life is really wonderful. Am I living for a long time? I didn't expect that my fourth-tailed Jinchuriki, Murasaki, would be saved by a child one day. Ha ha ha, and he was also a child from Konoha. This is really amazing. What's your fate? Lao Zi looked at the sky happily. The sun was setting in the west, the sunset glow was in full bloom, and the sky was filled with Lois. He reached out and hugged Hanada Lanmo. You will be my brother from now on. Ha ha ha. Hanada Lanmo smiled awkwardly. Don't you think the age gap is a bit big? Although it's a bit big, are we old friends? Lan Mo, thank you, because of your help, I escaped. Otherwise, in today's battle, I will definitely get tailed by them. He reached out and patted Hanada Lanmo's shoulder. The more he looked at him, the more he liked it. But your earth dragon technique is pretty good. There are very few people in the earth kingdom who can use such a big earth dragon. In the entire Iwagakur village, I, I feel that apart from the Sandame Suchikage, only his son Wangtu can use it, but his is, much smaller than yours. He smiled very happily. He felt that he had never been so happy as he was today in all these years. Hanada Lanmo looked at the sunset, his eyes flashed, and then he closed his eyes. Soon, his day will begin. Brother, I suddenly have a plan. I wonder if you want to hear it. Lao Zi smiled and looked back at him. What's the plan? Let's let the three wars in the kingdom of Earth end as soon as possible. Lao Zi looked at the sunset firmly with a hint of excitement in his eyes. Hanada Lanmo frowned slightly when he heard this. Although I feel a little awkward calling you big brother, if you insist, I can only call you like this. 
Big brother, it is just you and me who want to end the three wars. A bit impossible, right? I used to feel it was a bit impossible, but now that you are by my side, if you can defeat more than 20 Anbu of Iwagakur village, nothing is impossible. I have lived in Iwagakur village for so many years, and I know them very well. The three wars have lasted for so many years, and Iwagakur village has long been strong on the outside but weak on the inside. Can't you learn it when you see someone using ninjutsu? As long as you learn Onoki's ninjutsu, defeat him, and capture the five-tailed Han, nothing is impossible. Speaking of this plan, Lao Zi was excited, as if victory was right in front of him. Brother, do you believe me so much? Hanada Lanmo looked back at him and saw him nodding heavily under the setting sun. His red hair echoed the setting sun, like a burning flame. I believe you, but I have also thought of a way out. Even if it fails, I will let you escape Yenian village alive, so don't worry, I won't make fun of your life. Lao Zi said excitedly he said, with the sun shining in his eyes. Hanada Lanmo didn't say anything, just looked at him like this for a long time. He nodded heavily and replied, okay. This is how the plan begins. Outside Iwagakur village, a five-year-old child appeared at the gate of the ninja village with his eyes closed, sitting on a carriage. The person in charge of the guard saw him and asked loudly, who is it? Where's the pass? No. There is a carriage behind the carriage that this child is riding in. The curtain is open. I wonder who is sitting in it. Oh, what a loud tone. You are not allowed to enter Yenian village without a pass. Get out of the way and don't block other people's roads, the guard shouted loudly. Hanada Lanmo closed his eyes slightly and said softly, let you Suchikage come out to see me. You kid, you're not being gentle. If you don't want to die, leave as soon as possible. Otherwise, I'll blow your head off now. The man took a few steps forward and reached out to grab Hanada Lanmo. Unexpectedly, before the person arrived, his hands were already pierced by red crystals, and blood flowed down. It's Jingdun, he's the kid who uses Jingdun. Three days ago, the Anbu carried five corpses back to the village. The two guards saw the way they died at that time. Their bodies were covered with red crystal-like spikes, their mouths and noses were bleeding, and they looked miserable. But now, they actually saw someone using this blood inheritance limit. Come here, please inform Lord Suchikage immediately that the enemy is invading. The guard behind saw this and turned around and ran towards the village. In less than three minutes, Onoki had arrived, followed by more than 30 ninjas, and Hanada Lanma was instantly surrounded. Onoki was floating in the air, with his hands behind his back, and he looked carefully at the child in front of him, wearing ordinary clothes, short black hair, his eyes slightly closed, and no forehead protector on his head. Because of Onoki's arrival, the child opened his eyes, and a pair of dark blue eyes appeared. Although his eyes were open, there was no focus. This child was actually blind. But Huang too didn't say that the child couldn't see. What's going on? Just when Onoki was still wondering, Hinata Lanmo's eyes closed again. Because in less than 5 seconds, his mirror system has copied all the opponent's abilities in the mirror system through his eyes, and all of Onoki's ninjutsu skills and abilities have all appeared in the copy list. You are the kid who helped Lao Zi. Who are you? Where are you from? Why are you helping Lao Zi? And why are you here? Do you know that being an enemy of Yenian village is an enemy of the earth country? You are sitting in the car who? Onoki's voice was deep, his eyes narrowed slightly, and he looked at him closely. Hanada Lanmo looked around, there were more than 30 ninjas, and then looked at the village. In addition to the two guards at the door, there were seven or eight chunin standing inside. They were all young, only in their teens. The five-tailed man did not appear. The person sitting in my car is my eldest brother, who is also here to challenge you. Onoki, if you lose this challenge, please give up your Suchikage throne for my eldest brother to sit on, otherwise I will destroy you. Village. Hanada Lanmo's voice was cold and his eyes were deep. When people on both sides saw this scene, some burst into laughter, while others were nervous all over, because the nervous person was someone who had met Hanada Amo before. Even though this child looked harmless, in fact, his ninjutsu was very powerful. It's awesome. Currently, they are in Iwagakur village. Except for the third Suchikage, they have never seen such a powerful ninja. They don't know where he came from. Why did you help Lao Zi? 
Lao Zi, did you really leave Iwagakur village because of the Suchikage's position? Onoki had already guessed that the person in the car was his old friend, four-tailed Lao Zi. You know better than anyone whether I am doing it for power or status. Lao Zi's voice came from the carriage. After Onoki winked at the ninja on the side, the fingers of the hands behind his back wavered slightly, Chen escaped, the art of peeling off the original world. He made a sudden attack, and instantly the cube's transparent original realm peeling technique enveloped the entire carriage, and everyone including Hanada Lanmo fell into his ambush. Haha, I thought you were so capable, but it's nothing more than that. As he said that, Onoki looked to both sides and said, ceiling plate. They had studied before. If they caught Lao Zi, the first thing to do was to extract his tailed beast. Since he had decided to leave Iwagakur village, the tailed beast must be returned to them. That is their super weapon. Without the tailed beast, they will have one less weapon to keep close to them in the five major ninja villages. Therefore, no matter what, the four tails cannot be taken away by him. Where is that child? At this moment, someone shouted in surprise. Onoki looked back and saw that in the original realm peeling technique, the child had long since disappeared, leaving only a carriage. I wonder if there was Lao Zi in it. He looked around warily, his eyes sharp. Suddenly there was chaos in the village. No, there's an attack. At the same time, a child was floating in the air, a strong wind blew by, and the ninja village was filled with sand and dust. No, we've fallen into a trap. Onoki cancelled the original realm peeling technique, came to the carriage, and used a soil escape to knock off the carriage on the carriage. As expected, it was empty, and there was no Lao Zi at all. Although Lao Zi is not in the carriage, the child is obviously covered by his original realm peeling technique. Even underground, he cannot escape. After all, this ninjutsu is surrounded by an all-round geometry. What on earth is going on with that child? Escaped. Onoki felt strange, turned around and flew towards the village. Hinata Lanmo's wind release stopped, he looked at the Suchikage in front of him and said, Do you know why I just used wind release just now? Because Lao Zi wouldn't let me hurt the villagers. Really. It's a pity that you gave up your best opportunity. Today I will show you my horror. After saying that, Onoki's eyes suddenly stared, earth release, rock grinding wheel glen. A huge earth and stone demon appeared and attacked Hinata Lanmo. At the same time, Onoki's dust release original realm peeling technique appeared and surrounded him instantly. Mie. He shouted loudly, let you taste the feeling of being crushed to pieces. Within the original world, huge pressure was generated, and the next second, the child's eyes showed a red Sharingan state, and then disappeared. Is he from the Uchiha family? Although he didn't know what ninjutsu the other party used, he recognized those eyes. Could it be that Konoha colluded with Lao Zi? If that's the case, things are in trouble. If Lao Zi defected to Konoha, who among the five major ninja villages would be able to compete with Konoha in the future, and the advantage of their Iwagakur village would be completely lost. No, this child must be killed today. But in this huge ninja village, where is the trace of Hanata Lan Mo? Not only that, even Lao Zi, they don't know where he went. Originally, Onoki wanted all the Anbu to dispatch to find Lao Zi, but he was afraid that the two of them were in Iwagakur village. In order to protect his home, he did not ask the Anbu to dispatch. Instead, he notified all ninjas to be vigilant. If there was any movement, report immediately. And he issued a secret order for the five-tailed men on the front line to return to the village quickly. If the village was in trouble, it was natural to protect the village. He is a Jinchuriki, and he and Lao Zi can fight against each other. As for the other ninjas, they can fight against the child with all their strength but on the other side of the border, they can only wait for the stability here. But unexpectedly, for three days in a row, the village was peaceful, and Lao Zi and the child never showed up. It wasn't until the fourth day, after the five-tailed Han returned to the village, that everything changed after a huge explosion occurred in Iwagakur village. Eight or nine rock grinding wheel golems appeared in the village and began to wreak havoc. At the same time, countless crystal thorns floated in the air, as if they would fall at any time. Those crystal thorns were as dense as raindrops. If they fell, the people below will be harmed. On the street, there was the sound of people crying, running away, and the smashing of demon statues. Report to Lord Tsuchikage the two rock golems were found in the east, 
two in the west, three in the south, and three in the north. They are heading towards the village office, and they are destroying them along the way. Tell Suchikage-sama, our people don't dare to go to the streets at all. The crystal needles in the sky seem to fall at any time. Now the Anbu people are hiding in the house and using ninjutsu. But when using ninjutsu in the village, they can only be used against damage to the village. Where is the guy? Onoki rushed out of Suchikage's office. What happened today was beyond his understanding. Even for a master like him, using two or three rock grinding wheel golems at a time is already the limit. Someone actually used ten of them at the same time. Who is this person? Seeing the sky full of crystal escape crystal thorns floating in the air, as if they were about to fall down at any time, Onoki used earth escape to cover his head, and used the earth escape rock fist technique and the earth escape steel scribe technique to attack both sides. The attacking rock mill golem counterattacks. This is obviously his ninjutsu, how could someone use his ninjutsu to attack the village? Who is it? Oops, the five-tailed man was caught. Suddenly, someone shouted, and Onamu felt his eyes go dark, and then he saw a huge wooden trunk wrapped around the five-tailed man and flying into the sky. That was the last Jinchuriki of their village. Onoki saw this and hurriedly chased after him. At this moment, all the crystal thorns in the sky fell down. Those crystal thorns were as thick as the mouth of a bowl. If they fell, let alone people, even those earthen houses, will also be completely destroyed. This is because someone wants to destroy their village. If he leaves, Iwagakur village will be doomed, but if he doesn't catch up quickly, then their Iwagakur village will lose the five tails as well. Earth escape, the art of strengthening the earth. A huge earth release appeared, and worthy of being the Suchikage of Iwagakur village, he was able to use a huge earth release to rise above the village and protect the entire village. The crystal shields from the sky fell down and were inserted into the earth shields one by one. Some of the villagers below screamed, and the whole village turned into a dark world. Those earth shields had already covered the entire village. Below, Yenian village is extremely dark. Above the protection of the earth escape, the sunlight shines on the crystal escape and the crystal thorns pierce the earth escape, like shining jewels. Onoki was shaking all over and was breathing hard. He hadn't used so much chakra for a long time. In the distance, a child was floating in the air. He was wearing ordinary clothes and had black hair. His eyes were looking at this side without focus. When he waved his hand, all the crystal thorns disappeared. All the rock grinding wheel golems in the village have been eliminated by the ninjas in the village. Hanada Amo, who was floating in the air in the distance, looked at Onoki and said, Can you hand over your Suchikage position? Who are you? I'm going to fight you. Onoki knew that after this battle, all his accumulated ninja abilities had been exhausted, and he could no longer compete with the other four major ninja villages. To be on the safe side, he could only withdraw from the three ninja wars, even if even if they use the excuse of failure, they can no longer confront them head on. Onoki rushed forward, and the Hyuga blue ink on the opposite side was floating in the air. He took his time and made a seal with his fingers, Chen Escape, the art of boundary peeling. If the technique of original boundary peeling can target human targets on a small scale, then the technique of boundary peeling can target large environments and big targets. Moreover, the boundary stripping technique requires more abilities and chakra, and people without a certain level and bloodline inheritance cannot use it at all. Seeing the appearance of the limit, Onoki turned around and ran away. Fortunately, he was fast enough, otherwise the limit peeling technique with a radius of several hundred meters would have surrounded him. Haha, why are you running away, Lord Suchikage? I'm in a good mood today, so I'll let you go. See you later. Since his goal has been achieved, there is no need for him to stay here anymore. With a turn, Hinata Lanmo disappeared, and at the same time, everything in the boundary peeling technique that he had just covered turned into dust. Onoki's heart was beating wildly. He could no longer hold on and fell from the sky. The protective earth escape above the village also fell with his body, losing all chakra to maintain it. The houses in the village were buried. Most of it. Although earth escape caused damage to the village, it at least saved the lives of these people. But this time, the two Jinchuriki of Iwagakur village were missing, and the entire village was almost destroyed. When the Anbu people fought with the rock mill golem, more than a dozen people died, which can be said to be a heavy loss. 
Since then, the third Suchikage of Iwagakur village in the Earth Kingdom has announced that he will withdraw from the Three War of Ninja World, and all ninjas will return to the sidelines. The three wars that have been stalemate for eight or nine years have also officially come to an end in the Earth Kingdom. On the snow-capped mountains in the north, Laozi smiled and leaned back. Because he was so happy, he had already drank five bottles of wine. He looked at the five-tailed man in front of him who was suppressed by Mu Dun, and then turned to Hinata Lan Mo. Brother, you have helped me a lot. To be honest, I thought you would not succeed. I was ready to sacrifice myself and let you escape. I didn't expect it. I really didn't expect it. It took three days. In just a short time, you have learned all the ninjutsu of the third Suchikage, even the ninjutsu he has never used before, you are simply too powerful. Lao Zi looked at Hinata Lanmo happily, you know what? Now I really want to call you big brother. You are the most powerful person I have ever seen in my life. After saying that, I don't know if he was drunk or if he did it on purpose, but he bowed deeply to Hinata Lanmo, and then shouted, brother. Brother, you drank too much. Hinata Lanmo stepped forward to help him, then looked at the five-tailed man who was suppressed by the wooden dragon and the spell in embarrassment, and reminded him that there are still people here. Isn't he afraid of being embarrassed by doing this? Who said I was drunk? I'm happy, brother, I'm happy. My wish for more than ten years has finally come true, I'm happy. As he said that, Lao Zi drank another bottle of wine. The snow was falling, Lao Zi was drunk, the five-tailed man was suppressed by Mu Dun, and the power of the tailed beast could not be activated, and the whole person looked at Hinata Lanmo angrily. Hinata Lanmo didn't care. He stood up, looked around, and said, let's go, let's avoid the wind and snow. After saying that, two earth escapers appeared and dragged Lao Zi and the five-tailed man away from here. It has to be said that with Onoki's ninjutsu, many things have been made easier. For example, for these two strong men who cannot walk on their own, he can put them on the earth escape, and then use the ultralight rock technique to make them float beside him and move forward. The five-tailed man looked at Hinata Lan Mo and was wary. What did he want to do by catching him? He looked at him closely, even though he had thousands of questions in his heart, he didn't ask any questions. He didn't ask, and Hinata Lanmo didn't say anything. He went down the mountain. In a valley, Hinata Lanmo used earth release to make a cave, and took the two of them into the cave to escape the wind and snow. Lao Zi was sleeping soundly, and Mu Dun continued to suppress Han. Hinata Lanmo's internal vision system and Onoki have learned all the ninjutsu, and they just need to strengthen their practice later. The mirror copy of the five-tailed Han also started as early as yesterday. Although the progress is slow, it is still in progress. The mirror cloning of the four tails has not started yet. Guang Guan has been busy learning Onoki's ninjutsu these days, and he even forgot to add it to the mirror clone. Hyuga Blue Ink operating system copied the image of the four-tailed beast and placed it on the image cloning interface. Ding, mirror clone startup. Two four-tailed beasts, 0.00001%. Ding, congratulations, master, for triggering the fusion of the ten tails, bang bang bang. Suddenly the entire mirror system was completely transformed, especially mirror cloning. When Kyubi was cloned before, there was only one list. Since he successfully placed the copied content of the four-tailed beast on the mirror clone, a long row suddenly appeared on the entire mirror clone interface list. At the same time, there were four more words ten in front of it. Tail fusion. System, you obviously want me to clone all the tailed beasts. Otherwise, how could you make such a long list? Hinata Lanmo counted. Sure enough, there are nine in total, including the first nine-tailed clone. It is already in a full state, and Nine Tails has entered the mirror development interface. Yes, Master, if you only clone one tailed beast, it proves that your choice is the Jinchuriki, but now that you have cloned two tailed beasts, then the system analysis of your goal is no longer as simple as the Jinchuriki. You definitely want to fuse the nine tailed beasts into ten tails. This is a vast project. Congratulations to the owner. It stimulates new functions of the system. At the same time, the system is fully upgraded. When the owner successfully clones all the tailed beasts, the system will give the owner a mysterious big gift package. After saying that, the system actually set off fireworks, and at the same time, the entire system interface was upgraded. 
When he was practicing in Banyu Town, the system was still at level 2, but now it suddenly jumped to level 4. Mirror training has also jumped directly to the 8th level. Hanada Lanmo laughed. Sure enough, the system is a blessing project. Although the system has been upgraded, his body does not feel anything. It is like giving you a computer to study. You have to use it yourself. It is the same principle to work hard to improve yourself. Hanada Lanmo sat on the ground and began to practice, and the mirror system continued to copy all the contents of the five-tailed man nearby. The snow lasted for five or six days at a time, and Lao Zi was actually drunk for five or six days. During this period, the five-tailed man did not even say a word, but these are not important, and Hanada Lanmo does not provoke him. Anyway, he has a tailed beast in his body, and it will not do him any good if he gets anxious. As long as the mirror system can just successfully copy his abilities and the tailed beast in his body. Ah. Lao Zi finally woke up. He looked around, then looked at Hanada Lanmo and asked, Brother, what time is it now? You call me brother when you wake up. Hanada Lanmo looked at the cave entrance blocked by heavy snow and said, Five days later. I slept so well. I haven't had such a good sleep in many years. After saying that, he turned to look at the five-tailed man and asked, Brother, are you hungry? After asking in one sentence, the silent man suddenly jumped up. The wooden escape was controlled by Hanada Lanmo's chakra. He suddenly made a strong force, and Hanada Lanmo didn't pay attention. The wooden escape was broken by him. Then, while Hanada Lanmo and Lao Zi were not paying attention, he jumped, shouted steam jump and rushed over. When Han is not in the tailed beast state, he is a taijutsu type ninja, with fast speed and strong momentum, and this steam leap is a taijutsu attack that uses momentum to hurt the opponent. If it were someone else who suddenly used this move at such a close distance, he would definitely be hit. Even Lao Zi was injured by his impulse move in the past, but Hinata Amo can use Namikaze Minato, who is known as the Yellow Lightning. The Instantaneous Technique Seeing the other party rushing over, he jumped out of the cave. You little, you destroyed my village, I will fight you to the death. The five-tailed man chased after him. At the same time, he had already entered the tailed beast state, and Lao Zi chased him out. Han, listen to me, things are not what you think at all. If my guess is correct, the war in the kingdom of earth is over. Lao Zi shouted loudly, trying to stop Han from going crazy. He knew Han. Although he was usually speechless, it would still be quite scary if he accidentally touched his explosive point. It seemed that the greeting he just said touched the explosive that he had accumulated over the past few days. Point. The tailed beast state appeared, and the five-tailed king Mew rushed over. Its eyes were red, its speed was fast, and the five horns on its head glowed green and white in the snow-white world. Among the tailed beasts, although the five-tailed King Mew is not the strongest, his impact and trampling power are very powerful. He once injured the eight-tailed beast with his own impact. Hanada Lanmo uses the teleportation technique to constantly dodge, but unfortunately his wood escape is not strong enough, and he obtained the wood escape by copying and practicing Uchiha Obito's ability. This is compared to the wood escape of the master Senju Hashirama. Not even close. If it weren't for his amazing amount of chakra, I'm afraid he wouldn't be able to suppress the tailed beast power of the five-tailed man by relying on the wooden escape tree trunk these days. If there is a chance, he really needs to copy the next generation of Hokage's wood release, or find all the training methods of wood release. Only then can his wood release be continuously strengthened. Hanada Lanmo used the Uchiha flame formation to block the five-tailed King Mew. The opponent's eyes turned red. He jumped a few times to avoid the flame formation, and then began to condense the tailed beast jade. Oh my god, it really wants you to die. Lao Zi shouted loudly when he saw this scene, brother, be careful. With his voice, the five-tailed beast didn't even give Hanada Lanmo any time. The tailed beast's jade had condensed to the size of the mouth of a bowl, and then it was launched. Even though the tailed beast jade is so small, its power is astonishingly powerful. Let alone Hanada Lanmo, even if the opponent is a tailed beast, if it doesn't dodge or fight back, it will be seriously injured. Hanada Lanmo's mind tightened, and the scene of Namikaze Minato transferring the tailed beast Jade when the Kyubi attacked Konoha appeared. It seems that today, he will also try the flying thunder god guiding thunder. 
I have to say that during the three months he was in Banyu town, reviewing the ninjutsu of those masters every day was of great benefit. This allowed his body to react quickly in such a stressful situation. In the blink of an eye, the tailed beast jade on the opposite side suddenly disappeared one meter away from his body. King Mew was dumbfounded, and when he quickly tried to condense a tailed beast jade again, the previous tailed beast jade had already appeared in front of it, and then with a boom sound, it was blown to the ground. On all fours. At this moment, Mudden appeared, and more than a dozen Mudden tree trunks tied the five tails tightly, and Hinata Lanmo had already begun to use the sealing technique of the Uzumaki clan to seal it. Finally, King Mew in the five-tailed state gradually disappeared, and Han who appeared in the snow was exhausted. He was trapped in the wood escape. He raised his head and looked at Hinata Lanmo in front of him. This child is so powerful. Lao Zi ran over and looked at Hinata Lanmo with concern. How are you, are you not injured? I'm fine, Hinata Lanmo said. Suddenly, his whole body tensed up. The burning of the spell in the ceiling perception technique made him feel happy. This proved that there was news in Banyu town. Brother, I have to leave here, my sister is looking for me. Lao Zi nodded slightly when he heard this, yes, you have wasted enough time here. For our country of earth, you also offended Yenian village, but it doesn't matter. With your ability, you can offend the whole world. It's okay. Ha ha ha. Lao Zi laughed heartily. He looked back at Han and said, don't be angry. You will understand when you return to Yenian village. Maybe you don't understand our approach, but please remember that we it's also for everyone's good. Well, since eldest brother has something to do and can't accompany us anymore, let's break up. There's no such thing as a banquet that lasts forever. Let's meet again in the future. Hinata Lanmo nodded and asked, then what are your plans in the future? I plan to be a wandering monk. This was my wish many years ago, and now it can finally come true. Well, you have to pay attention to safety. Goodbye. Hinata Lanmo said, saying goodbye to the two of them, and then transferred to another space and disappeared from the scene. Lao Zi looked at the place where he disappeared and sighed in his heart. This power is really strange. He disappeared without saying anything. He turned around and let go of the five-tailed man in the snow, and then left here. In the seaside town of Iron Country, Hinata Lanmo just arrived at the beach and saw Shizun standing outside the town. She stretched out her arms to greet him, and Hinata Lanmo rushed into her arms, Sister Shizun. Lanmo, let me tell you good news. The Third World War is over. The Earth Kingdom took the lead in announcing to all countries that it will officially withdraw from the Three War. The war is over. Shizun's happy eyes filled with tears, and Hyuga Lanmo stretched out his hand to wipe them away for her. Sister, don't cry. Yeah. Shizun nodded happily, but her tears flowed more and more uncontrollably. I can't help but think about my dead relatives. After saying that, she wiped her eyes vigorously and hugged Hinata Lanmo, let's go back to Konoha. School is about to start. You can concentrate chakra. It should be no problem to go to ninja school. Let's go. Let's go back and register. Hinata Lanmo nodded when she heard this. It seemed that the two teachers, Johnny and Alai, did not tell her that she knew ninjutsu. Okay, let's go home. Back in the village, the streets and alleys were filled with cheers, and everyone's face was filled with cheerful smiles. As soon as Shizun entered the village with Hinata Lanmo, she was hugged in her arms. Lanmo, where have you been in the past six months? We thought you had an accident. Fortunately, you are fine. Uyu Xian looked down at him, with a smile on her happy face. Everyone was very happy, some danced to celebrate, some returned to the village to reunite with their relatives, everyone was excited to celebrate this historical moment. Seeing this scene, Hinata Lanmo also laughed happily. In some respects, the end of the Third World War is an inevitable result, and in some respects, the Kingdom of Earth's first withdrawal from the war only accelerated the speed of this outcome. Sunagakar village has long been unable to protect itself. Kurigakar village is suffering from internal and external troubles. Kona has suffered heavy losses due to the Nine Tails attack. Kumogakar village has made enemies everywhere but is scarred. The major powers have been fighting all year round and have long needed to recuperate. So Iwagakar village withdrew from the Third War, and the other four countries also announced an armistice and chose the opportunity to sign an armistice agreement. The war was finally over. 
The flowers will bloom in April, and Shi Yan will compete with the morning girl. Sister Shi Yan, happy birthday. On the street, Hinata Lanmo handed a large bouquet of flowers hidden in the scroll to Uoyuki Xi'an, and her eyes were full of surprise. It's brilliance. Lan Mo, you actually know my birthday. Azuki Xi'an's cheeks flushed with joy as she took the flowers. Shizun on the other side raised her eyebrows when she saw this and rubbed Hinata Lanmo's head. That's right, you've never given me flowers. Me too. I haven't received it either. All of a sudden, Inazuka Hana and Iris all shouted out as they came to greet him. Okay, I'll give it to you any other day. Hinata Lanmo laughed. At this moment, someone ran over. After looking at him carefully, he turned around and disappeared. This person was Uchiha Izumi, a girl from the Uchiha family who was the same age as Hinata Amo. She has a very good relationship with Itachi Uchiha, and Itachi once saved her life when the Kayubi attacked Konoha. Not long after, she and Itachi came to the street. From a distance, she pointed here and said something to Itachi. He nodded slightly, turned around and disappeared. Although Hinata Lanmo had his eyes closed, his mirror system was open, and he could naturally feel everything happening on the street. When he saw this scene, he was surprised, what happened to Uchiha Itachi? That night, the full moon was in the sky. After reporting to Sandena, he returned to his residence. Lady Tsunade didn't know what she was busy with. He hadn't seen her since she returned to the village. Originally, Shizun wanted him to live with her, but because friends were having a dinner tonight, she had already gone out with her friends, and Hinata Amo hadn't been home for a long time, so she returned to her home early. After taking a shower, he stood in the yard and looked at the stars in the sky. Suddenly a black shadow passed by and stood on the wall of his house. Uchiha Itachi. Hinata Lanmo said softly. The other party didn't speak. After not seeing each other for more than half a year, he seemed to have changed a lot. He looked down at Hinata Lanmo in the yard with tangled eyes, and then turned around and disappeared. Just like what he did during the day, he just looked and left. Hinata Lanmo chased after him, Uchiha Itachi sped up, but he still followed him, and the two left the village. In the woods to the west, he finally stopped and turned to look at him. Itachi, even if you were silent in the past, you would still say a few words. What happened this time? Although we are not friends, we are not enemies, right? Hinata Lanmo asked, what's wrong with you? It took a long time before the boy opposite said, it's okay, it's just that I've been a little troubled by your disappearance in the past six months. After saying that, he sighed slightly, turned around and sat on the big rock on the side. Hinata Lanmo came to him, thinking about what happened when he left Konoha, and suddenly understood, he asked awkwardly, you. Don't you think I was killed by someone from your family? After all, he disappeared from the guard, and what happened in the third generation's office after that was only known to a few people involved, and no one else, including the Uchiha family, knew. Hinata Lanmo has no father or mother, and the Hinata family ignores him. Even though Uchiha Itachi doesn't have a good relationship with him, he is the same age as him. At least he knows that he exists and was taken away by the guards and then he suddenly disappeared and couldn't find any news. He suspected that the guard was also possible. After asking this question, it took a long time before Uchiha Itachi, who was sitting on the stone, nodded and then sighed. Hinata Lanmo could imagine his troubles in the past six months, so he stepped forward and sat next to him, laughing loudly. After a long while, he reached out and patted his shoulder, my disappearance has nothing to do with your family. Don't think too much about it. It's okay. At this time, Hinata Lanmo didn't know how to explain the gratitude and embarrassment in her heart. She was grateful for his concern, but embarrassed that she had caused a misunderstanding between him and his family. And he found that in front of him, even though he tried so hard to smile and cheer up the atmosphere, Itachi didn't even smile. There was something hidden in his eyes, that tangled emotion came from his family. Oh, don't think about it. You are only six years old. Why are you thinking so much? Tomorrow we will go to school to register. Are you happy? Maybe we are in the same class. What do you want to do when you grow up? The third war is over. From now on, the village will be peaceful. Why don't you practice hard and become a teacher? Being a teacher is good, and you can play with many children. Although the plot develops according to the plot, 
Itachi has paid a lot for the village in the later period, but Hinata Lanmo hopes that he can change his mind, and hopes that he will not take too much responsibility for the Uchiha family. No matter what they do, he hopes that it has nothing to do with him. He can grow up happily. Uchiha Itachi finally curved his lips and showed a smile, then patted him on the shoulder and said, You talk so much. You talk too little, and you can't even say anything for a long time. You keep me guessing. And you have run so far with you. Hanada Lanmo retorted. Then the two of us are, you are the talkative one and I am the loser. The laughter of the two people flowed slowly in the forest, with a magical color unique to childhood. Yes, fate is so magical. Half a year ago, the two of them still had a wait-and-see relationship and attitude towards each other. Unexpectedly, when they met again half a year later, they turned out to be good friends, and they were the kind of good friends who could make any joke. Early the next morning, Hinata Lanmo got up very early and started washing and tidying up. When he came to the bathroom and looked at himself in the mirror, his fingers slowly touched his eyes. It was really inconvenient to not see during the day. Although the mirror system could help him sense everything around him, the pupils could not deceive others. It still made him feel a little stressed. After taking a deep breath, he turned around and picked up his backpack to report to school. But as soon as he turned around, he stopped there. There were people outside the door, and there were more than one, at least two. Anbu people. They didn't take any action and hid in the distance, secretly watching his home. So, wasn't their purpose not to catch him, but to observe him. We just came back last night and they took action today. It seems that these people are not from the third generation, but from Danzo. We haven't seen each other for half a year, but Danzo still hasn't given up. However, he did not go directly to the Hokage's office to ask for someone like he did half a year ago. It seems that his thoughts have changed more or less in the past six months. At least he should not be as important as Yamato in his heart, otherwise he came back yesterday time, he came to him. Since he wants to observe him, he should let him observe him enough. Seeing the presence of Anbu Jen, Hinata Lanmo simply turned off the mirror perception and groped out of the room with his eyes closed. As soon as they arrived at the door, Shizun came, Lan Mo, let's go, sister will take you to school. With that said, she took his finger and said, Lan Mo, I'm going to see Tsunade-sama this afternoon. You have to go to school. Can you do it alone? It's okay, I can do it. Hanada Lan Mo said. Shizun nodded and whispered in his ear, don't worry, Danzo doesn't dare to do anything to you. Lady Tsunade had a quarrel with the third generation that day, so she asked the third generation to give her a guarantee. The third generation said that as long as you behave well and they will definitely protect you, so you don't have to worry about those people. If you practice well, even if you go to Anbu, you will definitely not go to the roots, but follow the third generation. Hinata Lanmo frowned slightly when he heard this. They had decided his future. They didn't even ask what he meant, and they made such a simple decision. Along the way, Hinata Lanmo didn't speak, but Shizun was very worried. She held his hand tightly and kept telling him, you practice well in school. Although you can't see it, you can use your sensitive ears to your advantage. And can't you see it at night? Practice hard at night and don't eat randomly on weekdays. By the way, when you sign up later, if someone from the school stops you, I will tell them that you can condense chakra. Don't worry, you will be able to register smoothly. Besides, you are a member of the Hyuga family and a descendant of ninja martyrs. They should not stop you because of your eyes. Originally, Shizun didn't want to comment so bluntly on the shortcomings of his eyes, but she was worried that when she arrived at the registration venue later, the people in the school would be more direct than this, so in order to make him feel prepared, she still said it directly something about his eyes. Hinata Lanmo didn't care, and just kept nodding, yeah, don't worry, Sister Shizun, I will work hard. As the sounds around them increased, Hinata Lanmo knew that they had arrived at the gate of the ninja school, and everyone lined up to sign up. The person in front of him was Hinata Hikari. He looked at Hinata Lanmo in surprise and asked, why are you here? Do you also want to be a ninja? You can't even see it, and you still want to be a ninja. Who will be the ninja in the future? I'm in a team with you, and I'll take care of you no matter how you perform the mission. Shut up. Hinata Lanmo said coldly with her eyes closed. 
The adults had already retreated to the back, and the people in line were all children, so no one paid attention to the conversation between the two people. Ha! You still dare to tell me to shut up, do you want to fight? Wait, I will make you look good sooner or later. Hanada said harshly. I'll be waiting at any time, just don't be a coward when the time comes. Hanada Lanmo's face was cold. At this time, Hanada Lanmo's mirror perception was already on. In the distance, the third generation was standing in the schoolyard, talking to the people next to him, and Danzo was standing next to the third generation, his eyes looking closely. Staring at himself, at the same time, the two Anbu-rooted people to his left and right were still staring at him closely. For other children, today is the first day of entering ninja school, but it has become a day of choice between Anbu and ordinary life. If he chooses an ordinary life, he only needs to use the Uzumaki clan's sealing technique to seal his chakra for a while. If he chooses Anbu, whether it is the third generation or Danzo, as long as he reveals the information that he has a large amount of chakra, he believes that they will find him without even entering the classroom. Faced with two choices, he must choose an ordinary life. He worked hard to learn so many ninjutsu, not just to be used by some treacherous villains. The third generation did not say anything, if Danzo knew that he was the invisible reincarnation I, he would only I am afraid that I will use conspiracy methods to keep an eye on his eyes again. Instead of facing such danger, it is better to be an ordinary person and stay away from them. Thinking of this, Hinata Lanmo used the sealing technique to seal all his chakra, and then lined up and walked forward step by step. Uchiha Itachi and Uchiha Izumi in front had already signed up and entered the school. Gradually, it was Hinata Amo's turn. The teacher at the school gate looked up at his eyes while filling in the basic information for him, and then got confused. Ninja school is a place to train ninjas. If a person is not suitable to be a ninja, he cannot come to this school to study, so currently this children are a little special. Teacher, my brother is fine. He can concentrate chakra. Don't worry, although he can't see during the day, his vision is very good at night. And I believe he will definitely be a better ninja in the future. Because of her nervousness, Shizun, who was standing next to Hanada Amo, had already begun to plead with the hesitant teacher. All the students and parents were quiet. Everyone looked over, some were whispering, and some were frowning slightly. But we have never recruited this kind of child. Sometimes giving up appropriately is a good choice for the child. There are 360 professions in the world, and the best in them. The teacher obviously didn't want to admit him to the ninja school. When the three generations and Danzo behind heard this, they came over and asked, what's going on? What's going on, doesn't he know yet? This sentence is obviously to distinguish the boundaries and let everyone clearly know that they will not plead for a child who has no use value. Hanada Lanmo's fingers were clenched into a ball, or should he release some chakra? But if he releases chakra, it will prove that he has compromised the school. Isn't it a ninja school? If he can't get in, he won't go in. He doesn't have to be a ninja of Konoha. Thinking of this, Hanada Lanmo's fingers gradually loosened. When the teacher in charge of registration saw Sandai and Danzo asking questions, he quickly stood up and saluted, Sir, look at this child's eyes. At this moment, Hanada Lanmo's eyes were open, and his pupils were unfocused. Sandai knew this. As long as he said a word, he would have known that it would be okay and he could go in. But the third generation didn't speak, and Danzo on the other side said, Well, didn't Shizun say that this child can condense chakra? I'll check it out, and if that's true, not only should he enter the school, but if Miaozi if it's good, we have to cultivate it carefully, but of course if it's not, then we'll discuss it, what about it, Hanada Lanmo. Obviously, these two old foxes had already discussed it. What could he choose not to root out? Go to the Anbu of the third generation. I'm afraid that if he is chosen today, he won't have a choice at all. In full view of the public, they wanted to make it difficult for him to get off the ground. In front of everyone, he was able to condense chakra at the age of six. The Hokage asked him to go to the Anbu route in the name of protecting the village. If he objected, he would be against the entire village. If he agreed, it would just block Tsunade. Even so, Danzo could justifiably take him away. At that time, even if he has monstrous ninjutsu, if he objects, he can only become a rebellious ninja. Becoming a rebellious nin at the age of six. 
Why does it feel a bit early? Thinking of this, Hinata Lanmo actually laughed. Okay. As he spoke, he stretched out his arm. Danzo frowned slightly and grabbed his arm. Then he looked deeply and began to search the meridians of his body. His eyes were like a scorpion in the desert, vicious and vicious. If he were in the laboratory now, he would probably want to cut him into pieces and study it, right? After Danzo investigated for a while, his brows furrowed more and more. Everyone looked at them, and some villagers whispered, what happened to that child? Why did the village elder personally check on him? Is he very powerful? I don't know, a child abandoned by the Hyuga family, and a blind man. What's so great about him? Maybe he's not suitable for a ninja school. When the Hyuga family heard this, they lowered their heads slightly. Indeed, no one in their family cared about Hinata Lanmo, but he did too. Why would he go to a ninja school with his eyes like that? Isn't this embarrassing to the Hinata family? Although everyone was talking about it, it did not affect the previous investigation at all. How is it? Does it have chakra? Shizune asked with a hopeful look on her face. Danzo looked down at the child in front of him. His body was empty and there was no chakra at all. Was he really just an ordinary child? In the past six months, he has been in contact with Orochimaru, and has also given several children with good qualifications to Orochimaru, hoping to serve as a contact between the two people in the future. When they met, he also asked about Hinata Amo openly and secretly, but Orochimaru actually said that he didn't know Hinata Amo. I don't know if he was really trying to hide it or he really didn't know. But now, judging from his investigation, he was indeed just an ordinary kid. Danzo shook his head nothing. How is it possible? Tsunade-sama clearly checked it in person half a year ago. He had chakra at that time. Shizune said in disbelief. Have you neglected your cultivation in the past six months and disappeared? Success depends on diligence, and you can't be lazy in everything. Sandai said. Shizune felt guilty after hearing this. In the past six months, she and Tsunade-sama had been busy performing tasks, so they had neglected him. If he did not practice, it would be normal for his chakra to disappear. She sighed slightly, two adults, please accept this child. Although he can't see it during the day, he can see it at night. No, since he is an ordinary child and has a disability, for his own good, the ninja school cannot accept him. Danzo said with some revenge, Sandai, for the safety of this child, I feel that it is best for him not to become a ninja. This path is not suitable for him to be a ninja. When Sandai heard this, his eyes were tangled. He was also considering whether he wanted Hinata Amo or not. Forget it, don't do it if you don't want it. I'm afraid I won't be able to do it well if I want it. I'm going home. Don't you want him? Doesn't he want them? He still looked down upon the ninja school. If it weren't for the fact that he was young and wanted to settle down for two years, he wouldn't have signed up. Wait. Slowly. Slowly. Suddenly, from the direction of the street corner, a strong figure rushed over. This man was tall, wearing a pair of wooden clogs, gray clothes and a red vest, and long snow white hair. He was none other than Jiraiya, one of the three ninjas. He ran in an exaggerated and funny way. After running up to him with sweat all over his face, he panted heavily and asked, I, I'm not too late, right? I think this kid can do it. Jiraiya bowed his head and hugged Hinata Lanmo in his arms. If the ninja school doesn't want him, will I accept him as a disciple? You don't have any objections, of course. Of course, it's not easy for you to have any objections. This child, anyway, I'm attracted to it. After saying that, he began to look at Hinata Lanmo carefully. Wow, what a kawaii kid. As he said that, he actually lowered his head and started to rub Hinata Lanmo with his playful and smiling face. By the way, little guy, I will stay at your house tonight. Seeing this, Shizun clapped her hands and applauded. It turns out to be Mr. Jiraiya. That's great. Let me just tell you that Lanmo is very talented. You just don't believe it. Did Tsunade-sama tell you something? That's great. Mr. Jiraiya appears, and it is a foregone conclusion that Hinata Amo will enter the school. This is the person who once trained the fourth generation Hokage. When he speaks, no one will give him some face. Besides, he also said that he will personally train Hinata Amo. In this situation it is different from positioning. Why bother? 
it's such a waste of time for an ordinary child to have so many people interceding for him. Danzo regretted today's arrangement. You must know that this child is nothing. He doesn't come to school. After saying this, Danzo snorted coldly, turned around and left here. Even if they keep this kind of child, they can at most reach the level of those in the Hyuga family. What's the point? What he wants is not Anbu talents, but people who can be used by him and who can enhance his abilities. Since he is just an ordinary child, there is no need for him to waste time here. Danzo regrets, you know he is nothing, he doesn't think about him all the time in the past six months. Strange, what abilities did Orochimaru like in this child before? Was it really just a coincidence when he was stealing a child? After all, when Orochimaru did experiments, he used a lot of ordinary children. When he defected, he didn't even take away ninjas like Anko Mitarashi. If he was really stronger than Anko, how could Orochimaru ignore him for half a year? Ask. Thinking of this, Danzo felt more and more that his guess was correct. He was just an ordinary child, and he had really wasted a lot of time and energy on this child. Okay, this is the descendant of a martyr. We don't want to look at him differently because of his shortcomings. We have to treat everyone equally and give every child the same opportunity. Whether he can become a ninja is not up to us. We have to wait for the genin. Let's talk about it during the grading class, okay, Hinata Amo, you can enter the school. At this time, the third generation took a step forward and said some high-sounding words to all the students and parents, making it appear that the third generation was a kind and generous Hokage. Everyone nodded, and the registration teacher at the door blushed with embarrassment, and then said, Yes, yes, Mr. Jiraiya, please give me the child. I did something wrong today, and I shouldn't be blamed for the child's death. His shortcoming is that he is good at drawing conclusions. There will be genin exams in the future. As long as he can condense chakra, he may become a ninja. Please, please come to the school. Okay, the registration form has been filled out, right. Then I will take him in. Jiraiya did not hand Hanada Amo to the school teacher, but carried him into the school himself. Ziyan jumped up happily and said, Lan Mo, I will go back and prepare delicious food for you. I will pick you up after school at noon. Make more, cute little Shizun. I'll eat at lunch too. Jiraiya turned around and smiled. Shizun waved her hand and went to the vegetable market to buy vegetables. After Jiraiya carried Hanada Lan Mo into the school, he struggled and slipped out of his arms. Don't hug me, I'm six years old and I don't need others to hug me. Ha ha ha. Come, sit here for a while. Jiraiya was not angry, turned around and came under a big tree and patted the seat next to him. Although Hanada Lanmo has his eyes closed, his mirror perception is open, so now every movement and expression he makes is imaged in his mind. He walked over and sat next to him. Today was the first day of school. People were coming and going on campus, but it was quiet and cool under the big tree. In April, cherry blossoms were flying all over the sky. Hinata Lanmo raised his head and looked at the falling flowers, feeling the temporary tranquility. Ha ha. Jiraiya suddenly laughed, then turned around and stared into his eyes. Actually, you can see, right. Your mission is completed, you can leave. Hinata Lanmo said. What mission? You don't think like that girl Shizun that Tsunade asked me to help you, do you? As soon as these words came out, Hinata Lanmo stood up suddenly. It was obvious that he said such words. You. Ha ha. Yes, you guessed it right. Wow. Ha ha ha. No one could understand Jiraiya's excitement. When he saw Hinata Lanmo guessing why he was helping him, he jumped up to the tree and then to the ground. His smile reached behind his ears. Just like a jumping monkey. Hinata Lanmo's head drooped, and he knew that there was no airtight wall in the world. Toad Fukusaku, that big mouth. If Jiraiya was not asked by Tsunade to come back to help him, then it must be the big mouthed toad. Otherwise, how could he know of his existence? Don't worry, I will never tell anyone. I know Orochimaru is causing trouble for you, and Danzo is also watching you. I will never tell them about your strength. However, can you tell me why? You can practice the art of immortality yourself, and your facial makeup is actually seven colors. Why? Jiraiya's excited eyes had a curious expression, and his face was filled with a smile that felt like he had discovered a new world. I don't know either. 
I just heard a few kids talking about how to practice chakra that night, so I was going to go home and try it, but that's what happened. Hanada Lanmo explained. You know how to use Rasengan. Could it be that the fourth generation taught you? No, I just saw him use that ninjutsu. Hanada Lanmo said again. As soon as these words came out, Jiraiya's eyes widened, then can you show me your immortal skills? No. Hanada Lanmo stood up and prepared to go to the classroom. Hey, stop being like this, show me, show me. Show me, show me. Jiraiya chased after him. Until the class, he still stood in front of him and begged, but he said only those two sentences, and others could not hear anything. Until the bell rang and Yamashiro Aoba walked into the classroom, he still hadn't left. Mr. Jiraiya, are you here? Sir, do you want to teach? Yamashiro Aoba asked. No, no, I'm just taking a look, Lan Mo. I'll pick you up after school. Bye. There was really nothing he could do, so Jiraiya turned and left. The next time is the time for the students to get to know each other. There are not many students recruited this time. Many ninjas have been lost in the three wars in recent years, and there are even fewer children of Hanada Amo's age. More than 30 people including Uchiha Itachi, Uchiha Izumi, Hanada Hikaru, Hanada Amo, Inazuka Hana, Abarame Terajin, etc. make up the lower class students of this class. Their teacher is Yamashiro Aoba. He is a special junin who can read other people's memories. Although he is timid, he has excellent qualifications. In the entire Naruto plot, there are not many places where he is introduced, but his abilities should not be underestimated. He was once able to fight close to his opponents in the later stages of the battle with the immortal duo and still survive. I didn't expect you to actually come in. I thought you would only be kicked back. Hanada Hikaru sat on the right side of Hanada Lanmo and whispered to him. Hanada Lanmo was too lazy to pay attention to him and didn't even look at him. Uchiha Itachi on the side snorted coldly when he saw this scene. He sat on the left-hand side of Hanada Lanmo and tilted his head to look at Hanada Hikari. If you do it again in the future, dare you try to ridicule him. After saying that, he stared at him, and when Hanada saw this, he looked away with a grin. In the past six months, even though Uchiha Itachi has not yet gone to school, his name has spread throughout Konoha. He has achieved extraordinary results in Taijutsu, Uchiha family ninjutsu, etc. No matter how arrogant Hanada Hikaru is, she would not dare to offend him. Hanada Lanmo laughed when he saw this scene. Uchiha Itachi glanced at him sideways and said softly, After school tonight, see you in the woods of Nishiyama. He nodded. He had to say that besides his younger brother, he was the first person who could make Itachi Uchiha come out to protect him. After school ended at noon, Jiraiya, who was smiling happily, waited at the school gate early. He picked him up and ran back to Tsunade's house. Shizune had already prepared the meal. After the three people finished eating happily, he started again, Hanada Lanmo, just show it to me, just for a moment, to open my eyes. I haven't seen it before. Just give it to me casually. Let me show you, can we go to Chishin now? Is it possible? What are you talking about? Shizun was about to go on a mission in the afternoon. She asked while packing her things. It's okay, it's okay, kid, don't ask around. Jiraiya was afraid that Shizun would ruin the good thing, so he refuted it in one sentence. Shizun was helpless. After packing her things, she told Hanada Amo to pay attention to safety in the village alone. She also said that if anything happened, she would ask him to find the third generation and so on, and then set off to do the task. There was no one at home, and Jiraiya was energetic again. Hanada Lanmo couldn't rest well, so he turned around and looked at Jiraiya. Okay, I can show you, but I have a condition, you must agree. What conditions? No matter what it is, as long as it doesn't violate my conscience and morality, I agree. Jiraiya's eyes lit up. Don't ask me why again. Don't ask me anything. Can you do it? Hanada Lanmo's expression was serious, very serious. Jiraiya nodded, raised two fingers and replied. Okay, as long as you show me the colorful face makeup. I won't ask any questions again if I find anything strange on you in the future. Okay. I'll wait for you in Chishin. After saying that, Hanada Lanmo moved to another space, and the person was gone. Jiraiya's jaw almost dropped to the ground. 
He looked around the room, and then touched the air where he disappeared just now. His whole body almost jumped up. What's going on? He, he just disappeared like this. By the way, Nishiyama. He quickly set off for Chishin. On the top of the mountain, Hinata Lanma was sitting on a large raised rock, waiting for him. When he saw him, he asked, why did you disappear suddenly? Hinata Lanma looked up at him. Although his pupils were unfocused, Jiraiya still read the message from his frown. Okay, I won't ask, let's get started. He rubbed his hands excitedly. Ever since he heard from Toad Fukusaku that there was a blind child in Konoha who could teach himself without a teacher and practice the art of immortality in half a day, and his facial makeup was colorful, he rushed back without stopping. Konoha, even when he was dreaming on the road, he could dream of that scene, and now he was finally lucky enough to see it. He took a deep breath, as if he were a devout believer. Hinata Lanmo sat on the stone, closed his eyes, and began to absorb chakra from nature. The surrounding mountains, vegetation, rivers, and little bits of chakra hidden in the air gathered together and were slowly inhaled into his body. Hinata Lanmo felt comfortable all over, and a refreshing feeling like a clear stream spread throughout his body. When he opened his eyes again, colorful chakra indeed appeared on his eyelids. Jiraiya was so surprised when he saw this scene that he didn't know how to express the same thing. Wow, no wonder Fukusaku would say that the world is so big and full of wonders. This is really a wonder. By the way, Lan Mo, is this why Orochimaru arrested you? Sir, have you forgotten what you promised me? Hinata Lan Mo breathed in and out a few times, cancelled the sage mode, returned to his original state, and walked down the mountain. At this time, some exercise is the most comfortable. Okay, I won't ask if you don't ask. Jiraiya smiled happily and quickly chased after him, and the two of them returned to Hinata Lanmo's home together. After school was over that evening, Jiraiya personally came to pick him up from school. After the two had dinner, Jiraiya left the house. Seeing him leaving, Hinata Lanmo also hurried to Nishiyama. Sure enough, Uchiha Itachi was already waiting there. Hinata Lanmo was about to say hello, but Uchiha Itachi turned around and fired more than a dozen kanai. Hinata Lanmo jumped to avoid it, and suddenly there were kanai coming from above, below, and from the left. This is Uchiha Itachi's flipping and flying technique of throwing kanai, and it is a very famous throwing method. Hinata Lanmo flipped and jumped again, then kicked away, then turned around, and there was no trace of him at the scene. Uchiha Itachi turned around and looked towards the woods, then took a step forward and chased after him. In the following dodges, flying shots, and close combat, the two fought happily until two hours later, 30 miles away from Konoha, the two stopped fighting and laughed. I didn't expect you to have made such great progress in half a year. It's been two hours and I haven't taken advantage of you at all. Itachi Uchiha smiled and looked at Hinata Lanmo. You are strong too. A little stronger than you. Uchiha Itachi gestured to the pads of his fingers, then opened the water bag and started drinking water. Tomorrow is the day when school teaches chakra refining. Do you still want to grow steadily? Some things are better to be faster. Life is so short. If we don't hurry up, how will we protect the village in the future? Hinata Lanmo looked at the starry sky and said, I don't want to grow up too fast, I want to take it slow. Slow. You are with me, why are you so slow? After Uchiha Itachi finished speaking, he turned around and began to form seals. Fire release, Phoenix Immortal Fire Technique. Hinata Lanmo saw this scene and quickly responded, Water release, Water Dragon Bullet Technique. Water escape, Water Dragon Bullet Technique. The huge water escape jet came over, extinguishing his Phoenix Fire Technique instantly, and then collided with Uchiha Itachi's Water Release Water Dragon Bullet Technique. Uchiha Itachi looked closely at his water release. Under normal circumstances, his water release ninjutsu was much more powerful than the water dragon bullet. Besides, Hinata Lanmo's water dragon bullet had already competed with his fire release Phoenix Immortal Fire technique. Compared to the water release he used later, he had to lose. After Uchiha Itachi made a quick prediction, a smile appeared on his lips. But what Uchiha Itachi didn't expect was that the opponent's water dragon bullet didn't look very powerful, but after extinguishing his own phoenix fire, it actually directly confronted his own water fan bullet. Not only that, but the water dragon bullet, 
which was not very strong, actually instantly pressured his water fang bullet with a sharp aura, and the water dragon rushed towards him. Uchiha Itachi quickly dodged and looked back at Hinata Amo. You are very strong. Hinata Amo, what ninjutsu do you know? He asked with eyes shining. Hinata Lanmo sensed the surroundings with his perception technique, and found that no one was watching here, so he started to stretch out his hand to form seals, and then pressed it on the ground, earth release, earth flow wall. Wind escape, wind blade. Hinata Lanmo showed off two more ninjutsu and then stood still. He didn't even show off the other fire escape, thunder escape, wood escape, blood successor limit, and blood successor elimination. Of course, even so, he felt that he was showing too much, but Itachi was his good friend. Even if he was hiding it, he felt that he couldn't hide too much, so he revealed the other two ninjutsu. Uchiha Itachi looked at him with wide eyes and wonder, then he took a deep breath and gradually clenched his fists, I will definitely try my best to catch up with you. In the next few days, everyone in school was learning Tyrant Chakra step by step, and only Uchiha Itachi stood out. Therefore, his current education is no longer limited to lower grades. He will be educated by teachers alone most of the time, and he will also have in-depth study of ninjutsu with upper-grade students. Hinata Lanmo continued to study slowly with everyone in the class. Without Uchiha Itachi in the class, Hinata Hikari became more energetic. Today he would mock Hinata in a few words, and tomorrow he would hide his chair in class, or throw away his school bag, whatever he could think of to hurt him I've used them all, but I just don't dare to do it directly with Hinata Lanmo. After all, the consequences of the two previous attacks were still fresh in his mind. He didn't dare to challenge him in a duel, so he just bullied Hinata and Lanmo couldn't see. Even so, he didn't take any advantage, because several girls in the class took good care of Hinata Lanmo. As soon as Hinata did something here, the girls over there had already stepped forward to help him solve the problem. Until something happened when his school bag was thrown into the women's toilet, Hinata Lanmo took action and knocked out his two front teeth with one punch. From then on, he never dared to bully him again. The life of the class is as usual. Hinata Amo's ninja training progress has always been at the average level in the class. He is like Hinata Hikari. He can condense chakra, so can he. He can shadow clones, so can he, and so can the physical techniques he can use. This made Hinata so angry that until half a month later, Onoki, the third generation Suchikage of Iwagakur village, came to Konoha, and everything changed. Onoki came to Konoha mainly to sign an armistice agreement with Konoha. The Rakage had already signed it with Konoha before. The two parties originally decided to sign the agreement in Wind Valley, the land of rain. For some reason, Onoki suddenly wanted to visit Konoha. There had just been a truce, and the other party had a very good attitude and expressed a need for a friendly visit, signing the contract by the way. The third generation could not refuse, so he had to agree to come to Konoha. Everything has been prepared in advance, internal and external defense, reception and diplomacy, as well as what to say and do, have been planned in advance. However, ordinary people did not know that the third Suchikage Onoki was coming to Konoha, but they only discovered the warning in the nearest village. It seems to have improved a lot. The villagers didn't know, and the children who studied in the ninja school all day long didn't know, until that day, Onoki entered the school accompanied by the third generation Serutobi Hirazan and several elders. At that time, Hinata Lanmo was sitting on the swing swinging back and forth. Because it was rest time, his mirror perception was turned off. He felt the romance of spring flowers, the bright sunshine, and his whole body was relaxing. Hi, kids, we meet again. The sudden voice made Hinata Lanmo activate mirror perception instantly, but it was too late. When he saw the scene in front of him clearly, a group of people had gathered around him. He had also heard the sound of someone approaching before, but he thought they were classmates at that time and didn't pay attention. In front of him, the third Suchikage Onoki stood in front of him, with a cold smile on his lips and deep hatred in his eyes. And around him, the third Hokage Serutobi Hirazan, Danzo, Kaharu Shimura, Shimura Danzo, and several upper-level teachers in the school all surrounded him. You, Hinata Lanmo wanted to ask, why are you here? But when the words came to his lips, he swallowed them back. Hayuga Amo, do you know Lord Suchikage? 
Sarutobi Hiruzen's eyes were full of inquiry. Hokage-sama, don't you know? Onoki turned around and looked around, as if he was surprised that Konoha would put such a master in the school. Sarutobi Hiruzen, are you pretending to be confused because you understand? Or do you really have no idea what this child has done? Onoki continued with a smile on his face. This kid from your village is a master. Hinata Lanmo frowned tightly. Although his eyes were out of focus, all his nerves were tightly shut down. If there weren't so many high-level officials from the village here, he really wanted to seal Onoki's mouth again. At this time, Jiraiya had appeared in the distance, looking here in surprise. Don't you know why our Iwagakur village withdrew from the Third World War? It's all because of this child. Ha ha ha, you Konoha are really good at it. Not only did you get Kayubi, but you also let a child go to our village to cause trouble and ruined us. Not only do you want to kidnap our tailed beast, you really impress me. After saying that, Onoki turned back and glanced coldly at Hinata Lanmo. At the same time, his mind was also spinning. Why did he come to Konoha for a friendly visit? And in order to get the other party to agree to let him come to Konoha, he kept saying a lot of nice things to them in a humble manner. The reason is simple, he just wants to know who is the child who defeated him and destroyed Iwagakur village. If this child is not in Konoha, then he may be a Sanin. And there are only two choices for his identity, one is a Sanin, and the other is a Konoha person. Because he saw the child using the Sharingan, but just now, Hiruzen Sarutobi called the child Hyuga Lanmo, so he is not from the Uchiha clan, but actually from the Hyuga clan. This really surprised him. At the same time, he also saw that the high-level officials of Konoha did not know that Hinata Amo was a master. If not he could be discovered by him. I'm afraid I've been assigned to do missions or join the Anbu a long time ago. How could I be swinging in the school? What are you talking about? The third Hokage's eyebrows were stern, his whole face seemed to be filled with lead, and his whole body was filled with a strong murderous aura. Ha ha ha, why should the Hokage be angry? During the war, whoever has the ability can use it. I'm not here to take the blame. After saying that, Onoki turned his head and looked at Hinata Amo coldly. However, if Hokage-sama is willing to pay a little price for what happened in the past, that's fine. I don't want any compensation. I can also put aside the matter of the tailed beast for the time being, but I want this child. After saying that, he stretched out his finger and pointed at Hinata Lanmo. When Danzo heard this, he took a step forward to catch Hinata Lanmo. At the same time, several other senior leaders all stepped forward and suddenly stood in front of Hinata Lanmo. Lord Suchikage, what are you going to do? Don't forget this is Konoha. Jiraiya frowned and yelled loudly. Take Hinata Lanmo and leave. Sarutobi Hiruzen said to Jiraiya. At this moment, he couldn't explain how he felt in his heart. He had long felt that this child was not simple. He didn't expect that he hid it so deeply that he even have you lied to Danzo. And he was almost captured by the Suchikage just now. At the same time, Danzo also frowned, I'll take this child away, and you can talk about the rest. I don't want you. Hinata Lanmo turned to Danzo and said, although he couldn't see it, Danzo's disgust was undoubtedly reflected in his eyes. When Sarutobi Hiruzen heard this, he suddenly understood why this child hid his strength. It was all because of Danzo and Orochimaru. He waved his hand, and Jiraiya turned and left with Hinata Lanmo. Suchikage Onoki and several ninjas from Iwagakur village closely watched the two people leaving, filled with anger in their hearts. Lord Suchikage, I'm sorry, I can't meet your conditions just now. Aren't you going to sign an armistice agreement? It seems that you are not sincere. Since you are not sincere, I ask you to leave. This time you used a trick to come to Konoha. We believe you too much, Konoha will never believe anything in Iwagakur village again, please. Sarutobi Hiruzen is not a vegetarian either. With a turn of his eyes, he knows who is at home. Although what happened to Hinata Lanmo made his liver, gallbladder, spleen, stomach and kidneys tremble in shock, at the same time, he also knew who was superior in terms of power comparison at this moment. A Suchikage who had been defeated by a child of Konoha, what right did he have to scream here? They also talk about looking for the back account. If you want to find the back account, you must have that ability. Although he was shocked by the news, he was the Hokage. 
How could he be led by others after weighing the situation? Iwagakur village was destroyed and the tailed beast was kidnapped. This was such a big message. Onoki actually said it like that. I don't know if he was overwhelmed by anger. At the same time, Onoki also realized that he had said a little too much, and the corners of his mouth curled up. Hokage-sama, don't be angry. Let's go. The agreement that needs to be signed still needs to be signed. Besides, our tailed beast Jinchuriki has returned and the village has not caused much damage. Those are nothing. The three battles really took too long. It's time for everyone to take a rest. In this way, Suchikage Onoki officially signed an armistice agreement with Konoha, and he also knew that the child who swept their Iwagakur village was Hanata Amo. Hanata Amo has since become the number one enemy of Iwagakur village. Not only will they continue to send Anbu to assassinate him, but they have also posted a reward notice on the black market. Anyone who captures Hanata Amo alive will receive a reward of 30 million. The reward for his head is 20 million. In the Hokage's office, the third Hokage sat in his seat and tapped his desk with his fingers. Next to him stood Kaharu, Shimura Danzo, and Mito Kadoan. Hokage-sama, we are back. After Jiraiya saw the people from Iwagakur leaving, he appeared at the door of the office with Hanata Amo. Come in quickly. The third Hokage stood up and stared at Hanata Lanmo closely. He closed his eyes and walked in. Please have a seat, please have a seat. Someone bring us a chair. No need. Hanata Lanmo stood in front of several people and said directly, if you have anything to say, just say it. Danzo frowned slightly, what an attitude. Hanata Lanmo, how do you explain what happened today? Is the incident in Iwagakur village related to you? You really caught their tailed beast, what happened? On the side, Danzo, who had been frowning, suddenly said finished. Don't you know what's going on? Are you still asking me? Hanata Lanmo turned away from him, not even bothering to face him. What do you mean? Danzo looked at his questioning expression and wondered in his heart, could this matter have anything to do with him? If you hadn't forced me to take root half a year ago, could I have left Konoha? If I hadn't left Konoha, would those things have happened? Hanada's blue eyes suddenly opened, and a pair of dark blue eyes appeared in front of everyone. I let you join Anbu for the sake of the village. Everyone in Konoha should work hard for Konoha, and so do you. Danzo shouted loudly. My parents have already lost their lives for Konoha. Isn't that enough? Hayuga Lanmo replied angrily. Konoha has also protected your safety. If it weren't for Konoha, you wouldn't know where to beg for food. Danzo said unwillingly. How did Konoha protect my safety? From the moment I was captured by Orochimaru and almost experimented, Hanata Amo was already dead in Konoha. You protected me. What protection did you use? If it wasn't for Suna half a year ago Master Hand, take me away, you might give me to Orochimaru again now. Hanata Lanmo's face turned red. The reason why he came back with Mr. Jiraiya to see them was because he was not afraid. He now has enough strength to protect himself, although he cannot guarantee that he can win in front of these masters, but there is absolutely no problem in escaping safely. Who will he be in the future? He doesn't care at all anymore. If he doesn't hurt others, others won't even think of taking advantage of him to hurt him if he doesn't want to. You, you. Danzo looked at him angrily with one eye, unable to say anything for a moment, because just a month ago, he sent several children to Orochimaru. Okay, Danzo, you go out. The third generation discovered that Hanata Amo would be extremely angry whenever Danzo was involved. It seemed that this child did know something about him. It's just that Danzo was his friend since childhood. Although he did things unscrupulously, he did it for Konoha. So even if he knew about some things, he would still turn a blind eye, but that was not possible today. He had to let Danzo leave, otherwise, things would be very bad. Because he has already seen that this child no longer cares about Konoha. Even though he made a big fuss in Iwagakur village, he definitely did not do those things for Konoha. As for what is involved. I'm afraid only this child knows. Besides, we can no longer force him. Since he can successfully return to Konoha in Iwagakur village, he can even leave Konoha. He is only six years old. If he lets a child who can defeat a cage-level master leave at the age of six, it would be a dereliction of duty for the third Hokage, especially now, when Konoha is short of people. What? Sandai, you let me out. 
For a child, you actually let me out. Danzo looked at Sandai angrily. Please get out, and from now on, don't talk about letting this child go to the root. Please get out. The third Hokage reiterated very seriously. You you. Danzo looked at the third generation angrily, then looked at Hinata Amo, flicked his sleeves and left the Hokage's office. Shimura Danzo left, and the anger in the office instantly eased a lot. The third generation originally had many things to ask Hinata Amo, but now it seems that this child has a deep misunderstanding of Konoha, and he has experienced it at such a young age. After hearing so many things, he was afraid that no one would believe him except those who were kind to him. And Tsunade is not here yet. If she were here, maybe some things could be settled. We must not force this child anymore today. No matter what, we must stabilize him. Hanada Lanmo, don't worry. We asked you to come. There is no other reason. The people from Iwagakur village have also left. I just want to ask one question, just one question. Did you really make a big fuss in Iwagakur half a month ago? Village, defeated Onoki and captured their tailed beast Jinchuriki. The Sandame Hokage looked at him closely, while Kaharu and Mito Kato who were sleeping on the side also took a small step forward, as if they were afraid that they would not hear each other's answer. In fact, they know that there is really no need to ask such words. Onoki is the third Suchikage and a cage-level figure who has been in power for more than 40 years. How could what he said be false? It's just that they are too curious and really want to hear the person involved answer this question head on. The third generation's fingers were balled up, and he lowered his head and looked closely at Hinata Lanmo. Jiraiya on the side was also extremely nervous, and his eyes fell on him. He really didn't expect that this child would destroy Yenian village. Seeing that they didn't do anything excessive, Hinata Lanmo nodded, yes. With a simple word, the four people in front of them all breathed a sigh of relief. No wonder Iwagakur was the first among the five ninja villages to announce its withdrawal from the Third War. It was really because someone had bullied them and they had no ability to fight anymore. Then can I ask one more question? Just one. Sandai squatted down and looked at Hinata Amo at eye level. His attitude was particularly gentle, as if he was afraid that he would refuse. You said. Hinata Lanmo said calmly. Where is the tailed beast Jinchuriki? Where are the tailed beast Jinchuriki of Iwagakur village that you captured? This question had arisen, and the other three people once again focused their attention on him. Let it go. Hinata Lanmo replied lightly. It's a pity, it's such a pity. Xiao Chun almost jumped up when she went to bed, but just for a moment, she stood up steadily again. Oh, okay, let it go, let it go. Sandai laughed, stood up, and couldn't ask any more questions. Although he really wanted to know more things and more details, he really couldn't ask any more questions. Asked. Can I go home? Hayuga Lanmo asked. At this moment, he really admired the third generation heroes in Serutobi. No wonder he can become Hokage. He had already been mentally prepared when he left the school in front of Anamu and Konoha's senior officials. If Konoha forced him to do something he didn't want to do, then he would have no choice but to leave here forever. If they let him enter the route, he killed Danzo and left. But the third Hokage actually kicked Danzo out in front of him. He also asked him not to mention the matter of letting Hinata Amo penetrate the Anbu roots in the future. Not only that, he also had a very good attitude towards him. He only asked two questions and didn't say anything else. This left him some space in Konoha. With such a big space and this being his home, with his friends and teachers, how could he just leave? So the third generation is worthy of being called the third generation, what a good idea. In the afternoon, Jiraiya returned home and dragged him to the bathhouse. That afternoon, he didn't go to school. The two of them stayed comfortably in the bathhouse for the whole afternoon. After that, Jiraiya sent him to the bathhouse. A gift for him. When Hinata Lanmo got the scroll, his jaw almost dropped to the ground. He looked back around, as if he was afraid that others would see it, and looked back at Jiraiya in surprise. Sir, is this a forbidden technique? Yes. You need it. Jiraiya raised his eyebrows with an expression that you understand. Seeing that there was no one around, Hinata Lanmo reached out and opened it. The first line of words read Hashirama Senju's own handwriting. Seeing these six words, Hinata Lanmo felt the hairs on his back stand up. 
He looked back at Jiraiya, feeling excited. He has wood release chakra in his body, but because he copied and learned Uchiha Obito's wood release, Uchiha Obito's wood release ability is limited, so his wood release is also limited. And after continuous hard work the day after tomorrow, he could use the wooden chakra at will, but he had a more difficult problem, and that was the wooden ninjutsu. Uchiha Obito doesn't know how to use wood release like Senju Hashirama. He often only uses wood release basic ninjutsu and cutting techniques, as well as tree world descent. The rest is because his wood release chakra is limited, and there is no knowing the reasons such as ninjutsu refining and seal formation, it cannot be used at all. Even Uchiha Madara and Danzo, who later had Senju Hashirama's body cells implanted, can only use basic wood release, and cannot use deeper wood release at all. Hinata Lanmo's body has eight chakra attributes, so as long as he wants, wooden chakra can become his original chakra like Senju Hashirama. Although I have the wooden release chakra, I still don't know the ninjutsu and seal formation methods to practice, and I still can't learn them in depth. And now, the small scroll that Jiraiya gave him turned out to be Senju Hashirama's handwritten notes. This made Hinata Amo excited. This is a treasure. He looked at Jiraiya in disbelief, and the other party made a silent gesture. Shish, I stole it from the secret vault. Don't tell anyone, not even Tsunade. Do you understand? Hinata Lanmo nodded repeatedly, his eyes lit up, and he asked in a low voice, How do you know, sir, that I can escape? Last night I saw you using wood release to make the saplings sprout. Jiraiya replied in a low voice, I don't understand these things. Take a good look. I'll go next door and take a look. After saying that, Jiraiya ran out wrapped in a towel. After a while, there was a scream from the women's bath next door. The next second, Hinata Lanmo saw Jiraiya escape. Bathhouse. Hinata Lanmo laughed when he saw this. He carefully put the scroll away wrapped it in waterproof craft paper, and got up to go home. As the sun sets in the west, Hinata Lanmo closes the door, draws the curtains, takes out the small scroll, and opens it slowly with great treasure. Wood escape. Wood dragon technique, Ming Shen gate, cutting technique, tree binding for eternal burial, sea of trees coming, big forest technique, four pillar prison, Lianju family, root explosion technique, wood escape clone technique, wooden man technique, flower tree the world is coming, and the skills of ranking are all the skills of the bag. Later there is the immortal technique wood release used to practice the art of becoming an immortal. Thousands of real hands, and the Buddha on top used by thousands of real hands. This is simply a treasure. Hinata Lanmo stayed up all night, reading the secret book of wood release training written by Senju Hashirama himself. And before dawn the next day, he had already gone to the back mountain and started practicing the wood release ninjutsu from scratch. He didn't return to Konoha until daybreak. Mr. Jiraiya didn't return home all night. As soon as he got home, he saw little Iris standing at the door of his house, holding a basket in his hand, as if waiting for him. Calamus. Hinata Lanmo said hello. Lanmo, I made cakes and brought some specially for you. You can try it. Xiao Akoris happily handed him the basket in his hand. Hinata Lanmo reached out to take it and opened the cloth cover, which was beautiful, flowers cakes on plate. Thank you Calamus. He reached out and picked up a piece and put it in his mouth, it's delicious. It's delicious, I made it myself. Calamus laughed happily. Akoris didn't go to ninja school. I heard that next year his father would send her to an ordinary school to learn knowledge, so she is still at home now. They used to play together a lot, and Uncle Ichiraku also took good care of him. Since Hinata Amo left Konoha with Tsunade, they didn't meet often. In addition, he went to the ninja school, so there were even fewer opportunities to meet. Little Calamus hadn't seen him for a long time, so she came here to have a look. It was time for him to go to school. Calamus put all the cakes in a paper bag and put them into his school bag. You work hard, and we will play together when we have time. Okay. Hinata Lanmo nodded happily, reached for the school bag in her hand, and went to school. Today's school is the same as before. Hinata Lanmo entered the class, and Hinata Hikari was talking to others. Ha ha ha, did you see it yesterday? That Tsuchikage came to our school and talked to Hinata Amo, asking him if he kidnapped the tailed beast of Iwagakur village. And said that he destroyed most of Iwagakur village. 
I was hiding behind the bushes and heard their conversation, which shocked me at the time. I think Hanada Lanmo can't be that powerful, right? Later, the Hokage-sama left the school with the third Tsuchikage, and I went to the school teacher to ask about it. What do you think happened? What's wrong? The students all looked at Hikari nervously. They had heard about what happened yesterday, but they just didn't know what happened next. It's all fake. That third Tsuchikage got the wrong person, that's what I'm saying. How could Hinata Amo be so powerful? And he destroyed most of the entire Iwagakur village. He just learned how to condense chakra and accurately throw his hands. Riken, he doesn't even know where Iwagakur is, how can he go to Iwagakur? Haha, it's all fake. Hinata Hikaru laughed loudly. At this time, Hinata Amo entered the classroom. Everyone turned to look at him. Inazuka Hana came over, Anzuka, did that Tsuchikage really admit the wrong person? He nodded. It seemed that this was sealed by the third generation. Whether it was public or private, this kind of thing should not be publicized. It would not be good for Konoha, so it was best to keep silent. After all, if the Jinchuriki were kidnapped, it would easily cause misunderstandings. The school bell rang, and Uchiha Itachi, who had not appeared in the class for several days, appeared and sat next to him. Are you back? Aren't you going to take a separate class today? Hanada Lanmo asked. The teacher asked me to come back today. It seems there is some activity going on at school today. Uchiha Itachi answered. Sure enough, not long after, teacher Aoba Yamashiro rushed into the classroom. Students, line up and gather together to hold the school assembly on the playground. Soon, students from all grades of the ninja school had arrived at the playground, and the playground was full of people. On the podium in front, the third Hokage and several school teachers appeared. They sat down and the third Hokage began to speak. Students, in order to celebrate the end of the three wars, our school decided to hold a competition to test the current strength of the students. We have set up three awards for this test. The first place will be awarded a secret collection of five chakra ninjutsu. The second place will be rewarded with a true scroll of fire and water release ninjutsu. The third place will be rewarded with a true scroll of earth release. There are also bonuses. The first place will get a bonus of 50,000, the second place will get a bonus of 10,000, and the third place will get a bonus of 3,000. Yuan reward, I hope everyone will work hard. Everyone in each class please go to the competition venue in five minutes. After the third generation finished speaking, he stepped down from the podium and left the school. As soon as the principal left, the lower grade students surrounded Yamashiro Aoba and said, Teacher, what should I do? The whole school will compete together, and our lower grade students will definitely lose. Yeah, we're not even ninjas. We haven't protected our foreheads yet. Do we still have to participate in the competition? Some students asked worriedly. This time the whole school must participate. Except for those who have tasks, no one can refuse the competition for any reason. So students, we can't back down. Let's do this. The important thing is to participate. The teacher will follow you and everyone will work hard together. Yamashiro Aoe raised his fist and said. Hanada Lanmo frowned slightly and looked back at Uchiha Itachi. He didn't seem to find this incident a bit unexpected. So many people from the whole school came to Chishin, and everyone was waiting outside the woods, because the school teacher was going to talk about the content of the competition for a while. After a while, an elderly teacher came up to the high platform and said to everyone, the first competition point is in the dense forest of the West Mountain. The first 200 people who reach the top of the mountain can enter the next stage of the competition. The competition begins. After saying that, the teacher waved his hand, and everyone rushed into the dense forest. Hanada Lanmo followed Yamashiro Aoba unhurriedly, without any fighting spirit. Soon, everyone disappeared and only these lower grade students were left. Teacher Yamashiro was full of fighting spirit and kept encouraging everyone, everyone must work hard. Even if we are the last to go up, we must still go up. Come on, Uchiha Itachi, hurry up and catch up. Now you have to rush forward, get on. When Uchiha Itachi heard this, he looked back at Hinata Lanmo, and then quickly chased after him. Students, don't worry, we can do it. Even if we are the last to go up, we have to work hard. Teacher Yamashiro continued to encourage everyone. 
Kanata Lanmo followed among the students, not showing off at all and keeping a low profile. This made the third Hokage Serutobi Hirazan, who was hiding in the office and using a crystal ball to view the entire game, very anxious. Why did he suddenly create such a game? I don't want to test what Hinata Lanmo's abilities are. If it weren't for that Danzo causing trouble, he would have asked someone to test Hinata Amo yesterday, but Danzo almost forced the person to explode, how could he dare to test it openly? So yesterday he had no choice but to stabilize Hinata Lanmo first, and let him go home without daring to ask him any more questions and continue his previous life. But the third generation is curious. He really wants to know what abilities this child has. Why was he able to defeat Onoki and kidnap the tailed beast Jinchuriki of Iwagakur? Because of this incident, he didn't sleep all night before he came up with the idea of using all the teachers and students of the school to compete with Hinata Amo, just to test his ability. But now, this kid has no fighting spirit at all. Isn't this a waste of the opportunity he created? This is not okay. He waved his hand, and the Anbu on one side came closer. After he lowered his head and said a few words to him, he suddenly stopped talking, wait a minute, there's something going on. Although Sandai was talking to the Anbu people, his eyes were always staring at the crystal ball on the table. At this moment, on the western mountain, there were several ninjas who came from nowhere and were secretly following the lower grade students. They were well hidden before, so the third generation didn't notice it, but now, because the senior ninjas and teachers have all gone up the mountain, the junior ones have fallen behind, and there is no one else in the mountain forest except them, so those people boldly appeared. At this moment, on the West Mountain, all the lower grade students gathered together, looking in horror at the appearance of several people on the tall trees and on the surrounding tree trunks. Some of them wore forehead protectors from the rebel ninjas of the Karigakur village, some wore forehead protectors from the rebel ninjas of the Kusanagi village, and two of them were Sanin. That should be Hanada Lanmo, the Bayakugan of the Hanada family, very easy to recognize, take action. After the other party said this, they all rushed towards Hanada. Hanada Hikaru was so surprised when he saw this scene that his jaw almost dropped to the ground. He burst into tears and pointed to Hanada Lanmo aside. Don't arrest me. You have recognized the wrong person. I am not Hanada Lanmo. He is, he is. Yamashiro Aoba jumped up and stood in front of Hanada Hikaru. What do you want to do? Of course we are going to arrest someone. After saying that, four people rushed up. Yamashiro Aoba alone was no match for these people. Although his physical skills were amazing, the opponent was outnumbered. In less than two minutes, he was seriously injured and fell to the ground. On the ground. Several classmates stepped forward, but were also hit by the other party's sweeping legs, but Hinata Hikari was already caught by them and taken away. Hinata Lanmo frowned slightly. He knew that today's game was for him, but before he could be tested by Anbu, a group of Sanin came. What was going on? No matter what the situation, he couldn't let Hinata Hikaru top the cylinder for him. Teacher, are you okay? Hinata Lanmo stepped forward and reached out to check his injuries. After all, he had been with Tsunade for a while, and he was also someone who had learned the medical ninja handbook given by Tsunade. Soon, he the pathology results showed that three ribs were broken and the liver was bleeding. It was okay for the time being. Teacher, you go back to the village first, I'll go take a look. After saying that, Hinata Lanmo jumped up to the tall tree and chased after him. At this moment, the third Hokage was watching this scene in the office. When he discovered that there was no trace of Hinata Lanmo on the crystal ball, he was so frightened that he couldn't breathe properly. Hurry, hurry up, the Anbu people rushed to support. Before, he wanted the Anbu people to test his abilities, but he didn't expect that someone would attack him as soon as he left the village. They didn't need to take action at all, but if he wanted to know his abilities, someone still needed to witness them. Besides, with his crystal ball, although he could see the situation of the game on the mountain, he could not see the current situation of Hanada Amo. The reason is very simple. His detection method is called the telescope technique. It requires the use of a crystal ball as a medium to gain insight into the opponent's situation. However, using this technique requires a specific condition, that is, the opponent's chakra must be known. Attributes. The reason he couldn't see Hanada's blue ink in the crystal ball was because he still didn't know what his chakra attributes were. 
The reason why he asked the entire school students and teachers to accompany him to play this trial game was to use the different chakra attributes of teachers and students to check Hanata Amo's performance in the game. He originally wanted Anbu to test him, but now it's fine. A Sanin appears out of nowhere. He ran away with Hanata's blue ink. Thinking of how much loss his departure would bring to Konoha, he turned around, picked up his cloak, turned around and jumped out of the window. He wanted to find him personally. 70 miles north of Konoha Kitayama is the forest of death. Most people would not come here, but these Sanin took Hanata directly to the north. Don't arrest me. I'm not Hanata Lanmo. Why don't you believe me when I explain this? I'm really not him. He burst into tears. He really didn't want to bear the blame. God, did I bully Hanata Lanmo too much in normal times? Now I have to pay it back, Hanata Lanmo. I'm sorry for you, I shouldn't bully you. Wow. Hanada Hikaru started crying loudly. You brat, do you think we are fools? Everyone in the Hanada family is supercilious, and you are the only one in the class who is supercilious. If we don't arrest you, who will we arrest? You cowards, you still want to blame others. The leader of the group said. The muscular man snorted coldly. No, you really caught the wrong one. Hanada Lanmo is blind. I have good white eyes, but I'm not him. Hey, I can't explain clearly. It's so verbose that it makes him faint. The next second, the strong man struck with one hand, and Hanada fainted. Someone is coming. Suddenly, the sentient ninja in the team said. The strong man in front said, I'll go first, and you guys will follow behind. No, this person was caught by all of us. Even if we receive the bounty, we have to work together. If you leave first, what will happen if you take the bounty all to yourself? The other three people did not follow behind, but caught up with the person in front who was carrying Hanada Hikaru. They are a temporary ninja team that specializes in catching people with bounties on the black market to collect bounties. Hanada Amo's information was only on the black market bounty list last night, and they rushed to Konoha today. It's a coincidence that they were still planning how to carry out the mission. Unexpectedly, all the students from the ninja school went to Konoha Nishiyama to participate in some competition today, so they took action directly. What they didn't expect was that Hinata Lanmo, who currently ranked third in bounties on the black market, was so easy to catch. With just a casual move, the person became theirs. Then what should we do? Are we all going to stay? When will we defeat that person and when will we go on the road together? This is the first time these people are working together, and they don't trust each other and have no tacit understanding. I think none of you should leave. Just when they were having a disagreement, Hinata Lanmo had already appeared in front of them. You can't leave either, keep the people behind, otherwise we will kill them. His voice was like ice, and he stood on the tree trunk with an indifferent expression. Who are you? A little kid, how dare you speak big words? Among the four people, the man wearing the forehead protector of the Karigakur rebels suddenly rushed over. At the same time, a layer of thick smoke rose in the dense woods. Fog. Shwiran, what are you doing? Don't use the Karigakur jutsu, be careful that my jin escapes with that child. Said the traitorous ninja from the grass ninja village on the side. A strong wind blew by, and the fog quickly dispersed. Sure enough, there was no trace of my jin and the child. Seeing this, the three of them had no intention of dealing with Hanada Lanmo, so they turned around and chased after them. Hanada raised her blue eyebrows, these people have no team spirit at all. He chased after him with a teleportation technique, and stopped directly in front of the strong man my Jin, put him down, and I will spare your life. In fact, Hanada Lanmo could kill him directly, but he didn't want to hurt Hanada Hikaru. Because the man's fingers were on Hanada's neck. If he didn't make a move here but used force there, Hanada would be doomed. At the same time, the other three ninjas had caught up. Maijin, you really can't believe it, you actually want to pocket the bonus. No, look, why does this child look a bit like the child in the black market scroll? Maijin has already felt that the boy in him is not Hanada Lanmo at all, because in comparison, the boy standing on the big tree in front of him is facing the enemy. Their raving boys are more like it. The water curtain on one side took out the reward picture scroll and looked at the picture on it carefully. Black-haired child with eyes closed. Sure enough, it was exactly the same as the one in front of them. 
When they saw the boy in the painting with his eyes closed, they thought he had white eyes, so they closed them on purpose. Now they realized that they couldn't see it in the first place, and they had arrested the wrong person from the beginning. Bang! The strong man Mai Jin threw Hanada Hikari away directly. Hanada Hikaru, who fell to the ground from a high tree, felt pain. He woke up and looked up to see five people on the tree. One of them turned out to be Hanada Lanmo. He happily stretched out his hand to say hello, Hugata Lanmo, I at this. I know, take good care of yourself. After saying that, Hanada Lanmo rushed forward. Swiped twice with the wind release blade, killing the sentient ninja in the team. Among them, he had the lowest ability and was the first to be destroyed. This is the cruelty of the ninja world. If you don't move forward or work hard and are always at the bottom, you will lose your life sooner or later. Hanada Hikaru was extremely surprised when he saw this scene. Is this the same blind Hanada Lanmo who always follows him in his grades? When did he become so powerful? He rubbed his eyes. Just now, he didn't even see clearly how Hanada Lanmo took action, and the other party killed one person. Thunder Escape, the art of heavenly thunder. The art of wood escape and wood dragon. Hanada formed the blue ink seal so fast that the remaining three opponents had no room to fight back. Among them, the man named Mikan was the most powerful among the four and could reach the level of a special Junin. When he saw that things were not going well, Mu Long chased after him. He jumped up and came to the front of Hanada Light. He stretched out his hand to pick him up, and then put his fingers on his neck. You, stop it quickly, otherwise I will kill him. If you know this kid is so powerful, he shouldn't have thrown away the hostage just now. No, don't kill me. Hanada Hikaru, who was held hostage, turned pale with fright. Hanada Lanmo stopped his ninjutsu and landed on a big tree opposite the man. Hanada Lanmo, I apologize to you. I'm really sorry. I always bully you and say bad things about you. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Please help me. Hanada Hikaru on the opposite side started crying. He looked at the deep forest and felt that it was already far away from Konoha. It was over. Hanada Lanmo would definitely not save him. He would definitely hold a grudge in his heart for treating him like this. Got it. Puff. Just when Hayuga Hikaru lost confidence, suddenly a wooden cutting technique exploded in the strong man's body. At the same time, a figure jumped over and swept him to the big tree opposite. It was Hanada Lanmo. Oh my god. He looked at Hanada Lanmo in front of him, and suddenly felt that he was so tall, and he seemed to be shining. Then he looked back at the man who had fallen under the tree. His body had been pierced by the wood like a hedgehog. You are so powerful, Hanada Lanmo. Hanada Hikaru saw that all the enemies were dead, and she felt excited in her heart. Let's go back. Hanada Lanmo grabbed his wrist and performed a teleportation technique. He disappeared and reappeared, already thousands of meters away. Hayuga Lanmo, you are so fast. Hanada Lanmo, you are a hidden master. Wow, where is this? Why haven't we reached the village yet? Forest of Death. Dizzy. No wonder I think it's so dark here, but I feel safe with you by my side, Hanada Lanmo, let's play together from now on, Hanada Lanmo, I suddenly feel like I like you so much, I feel like I'm already your fanboy. Finally, the two of them arrived at the village. Hanada Lanmo shook off Hanada Hikari, who was nagging her endlessly, but he came over again. He had a smile on his face and started bragging when he saw his classmates. Oh, you haven't seen it. Hanada Lanmo is so powerful. Four people surrounded him and beat him. He waved his hands and two of them died. The remaining one wanted to threaten him with me, but he ended up again as soon as he waved his hand, suddenly a piece of wood exploded from that person's body, it's awesome, it's awesome. The whole class gathered around Hanada Lanmo, really. That's great, Hanada Lanmo, you are so good, why don't you go and participate in the competition? Just now, their senior students laughed at us, saying that we were the same the little bean buns in the first grade are jumping high and high, and they also say that our first grade little bench is pouting every time. Hanada Lanmo couldn't help but laugh when he heard this. Where is the teacher? Did you go to the hospital? Well, the second game will be in the afternoon. If we lose, we lose. Don't take it too seriously. Let's go and see Mr. Yamashiro. After Hanada Lanmo finished speaking, he walked towards Konoha Hospital in the village. In the distance, the Anbu and Sandai who had not caught up with them saw this scene inside. 
After they came to the woods, it was already too late. By the time they finally caught up with a few people, it was already over over there. Anyway, they didn't look, to that battle. The conclusion that the third generation can draw now is only known from Hinata Hikaru's mouth. Hinata Amo can use instant body technique and would escape ninjutsu. And his perception skills are very powerful. Even if he cannot see during the day, he can accurately attack the enemy and know what is happening around him. Of course, sometimes he seems not to know. For example, when Onoki came yesterday, he waited until Onoki spoke. He seemed to have just reacted. This is probably related to the use of chakra in his body. No matter what, this child is full of mystery. He came to the hospital to visit Mr. Yamashiro. He was fine. He was relieved to see Hanada Hikari come back safely. Hanada Hikaru blew Hanada Blue Ink in front of him again, saying how powerful he was, how he could save himself, etc. Teacher Yamashiro looked surprised and looked back at Hanada Amo. This child turned out to be a master. Uchiha Itachi was successfully selected into the top 200. Generally speaking, the lower grade group was not too embarrassing, at least one person was admitted. The second game was held in the afternoon, the third game in the morning the next day, and the fourth game in the afternoon. All in all, this time the Sandame Hokage spent a bonus of 60,000 to 70,000 yuan, three ninjutsu secret books, and a student teacher from a school for two days. In the end, he did not get any information on Hinata Amo. This left the third generation without any information. Thought of. But so what, they didn't get in in the first round, so he still had to force them to take action. Besides, it's reasonable to take action during a competition. If everyone quits a class, are we still going to let Anbu people take action on such young children? Anyway, this time he didn't get what he wanted. School life is as usual, going to and from school every day, basic education. Mr. Jiraiya left Konoha because of the investigation of Orochimaru's whereabouts, and Hanada Amo resumed his life alone, but fortunately he had many friends around him. Azuki Shian is currently out on a mission, but Iris, Inazuka Hana and Hanada Hikari often come to his house to play with him. Little Iris is pretty, cute and quiet. She can also make all kinds of pastries and delicacies. She is very popular. Although Inazuka Hana is with them, she spends most of her time making trouble with her dog. Only Hanada Hikari was really too nagging. He spent the entire evening after school and dinner bragging. What about the 64 Bagua palms of the Hyuga family, the 128 Bagua palms, how awesome the Bayakugan clairvoyance is, etc., and how interesting their family gatherings are, etc., he doesn't know any of these, and he doesn't have any I've participated twice, but I'm so proud of it. He also said that the eldest daughter of the clan family was pretty and cute, she liked him the most and she smiled when she saw him. He was talking about Hinata Hinata. When she was born, Hinata Lanmo was not in Konoha, so naturally she did not go to his house to send gifts. Of course, it doesn't matter whether a person like him who has been forgotten by his family goes or not. But unexpectedly, when several friends were playing in the yard of Hinata Lanmo's house, people from the Hyuga clan came to invite Hinata Lanmo, which made him very puzzled. He didn't know what happened until he arrived at the Zong family. Two people were drinking tea in the main room. One was the principal, the head of the Hyuga family, Hinata Hazashi, and opposite him sat the sinister villain Shimura Danzo. The two were holding teacups, with smiles on their faces, as if they were say what. Hinata Lanmo had never seen Danzo smile before, but at this moment, the smile on his face was like a ferocious monster, which made people feel extremely uncomfortable. Lanmo is here, come on, come and sit in the room. In Hinata Lanmo's memory, Hinata Hazu had never spoken to him, but today he was smiling all over his face, as if he knew him very well. No, I'll just stand here. If you have anything to say, just say it. Hinata Lanmo said. Ha ha. Look at this kid, he's so arrogant, but it doesn't matter, I like it, haha. Ha. Danzo showed his disgusting smile again. He changed his strategy. Without getting permission from the third generation, he went to Hinata's house to say good things to Hinata and Hizashi. This was really a big improvement for him. He could do things at such an old age. Learn to turn. Haha. Ha. Hinata Hazu also laughed, but when he raised his cup to drink tea, he still looked at Hinata Lanmo with his peripheral vision. 
There have been a lot of rumors about him recently, but the upper echelons of the village have never given him any special treatment, so that he thinks those rumors are false. But today, Danzo actually came to the door in person, and said that he had something good to talk to him, the head of the Hyuga family, and wanted to see Hyuga Amo, with a smile on his face, which proved that those rumors were true. Thinking of this, Hinata Hazu's heart beat loudly. Just imagine, a six-year-old Hyuga family child could defeat Onoki, and almost destroy Iwagakur village, and even capture their tailed beast. What ability is this? Let alone a child, even dozens of Jonin may not be able to do this. Hinata Hazashi took a deep breath, calmed down, and looked back at Hinata Lanmo again. The child stood there stubbornly, with a look of reluctance in his eyes. It seemed that the Hinata family had not taken good care of him over the years. So much so that he had a more resistant expression. When Danzo saw Hinata Amo standing in the yard, the smile on his face became even brighter. Hayuga Amo, I wonder if there is any misunderstanding between us. Why don't you come in and let's have a good talk? Your clan leader is sitting here, aren't you going to give me this little face? Hinata Lanmo raised his head and glanced at Hinata Hainashi. It took him a long time before he took off his shoes and entered the main room. That's right, come on, let's have a cup of tea. By the way, tea is not good for children's health. Otherwise, Danzo turned back and looked around. Hinata Hazashi understood immediately and said, Come here, bring me a glass of milk. Yes. Someone outside answered. Don't bother, just tell me, why are you looking for me so late? Hinata Lanmo. Suddenly Danzo reached out and grabbed his finger to show his closeness. But he pulled his hand away and put his hands behind his back. Ahem, he he. Hinata Hazu laughed awkwardly when he saw this scene. He wanted to scold Hinata Lanmo for being rude, but thinking about the fact that the Hyuga family had ignored him all these years, he had no right to scold him. He. Being able to connect two people today and sit here and talk is already the limit. If he continues to use his status to oppress others because he is the head of the Hyuga family, that would be a bit too ignorant. Haha, ha, it's okay. I actually don't mean anything else. I just like you very much. As you know, I have asked Sandai for you over and over again, wanting you to join our roots, but you just don't agree. I know that there is a misunderstanding between us, but it is really just a misunderstanding. I really have nothing to do with Orochimaru. I did know him before, but I don't know the things he did. I am loyal to Konoha, so how could I support Orochimaru in such a crazy experiment? Hinata Lanmo, you have to believe me. Danzo laughed as he talked and drank tea, but actually he was extremely angry inside. When in his old age had he ever spoken kindly to others in such a condescending manner? Even the third generation would not give him such treatment. If this child still doesn't agree to go with him today, then don't blame him for being rude. Even if he uses extraordinary means, he will not hesitate. He comes here today to give him the last chance to solve the problem peacefully. When Hinata Hazashi heard this, the smile on his face disappeared. No wonder Danzo came to their house and asked him to find Hinata Amo to meet and chat. So there is such a deep connection between them. Danzo-sama, is there something going on between Orochimaru and Hinata Amo? Hinata Hazu couldn't help but ask. After asking, he also felt that he had made a mistake, so he closed his mouth and stopped making any sound. As the head of the Hyuga family, a child of his own family was lost, almost died, and he left the village for half a year. He didn't know why, but now he still had the nerve to ask others. Ahem, it's okay, it's all a misunderstanding. Let's not talk about the past. Hinata Lanmo, I have already explained everything I should explain to you today. I am here to ask you, do you believe me? He practiced several times at home before coming here. He believed in his acting skills. I don't believe it. Hinata Lanmo turned to look at him. Under the night, his dark blue eyes looked more and more deep and reserved, as if he could understand everything. His eyes were so beautiful. During the day, when his pupils were out of focus, he felt nothing. But as night fell and he could see things, his whole person seemed to be filled with spirituality because of those eyes. You. Danzo placed Chi's teacup heavily on the table. He stabilized it for a long time before suppressing the anger stirred up by Hinata Lanmo. Hayuga Lanmo, why are you so stubborn? After all, you are a member of Konoha. 
isn't it what you should do to enter the roots to protect Konoha? Right, Hyuga clan leader. Suddenly, Donzo's eyes fell on Hinata Hazu. Why did he come to his house? Wouldn't it be better to ask him to help persuade Hinata Lanmo? Why didn't he say a word? This old fox just sat there and drank tea with a smile on his face, saying nothing. How could he not suppress a six-year-old child? Ha ha, what should I say about this kind of thing? I feel that the child is still young and has no abilities. Let's wait until he goes to Anbu in two years before talking about it. What is the identity of Hanata Hazu? He is the patriarch of a family. Some things, you'll understand just by looking at it. If the third generation agreed to Hanata Lanmo's entry into the route, could he still come to him for help? Obviously, the Sandai rejected him, and there was still someone Danzo wanted, so why go to such trouble to find someone to help? Hasn't he always been a man of the dark side? Since he didn't use the dark one directly, it proved that he had weighed this matter. He couldn't beat Hanata Amo, so he came here to offend him. He wouldn't do that kind of thing. The Hanada family has been indifferent to Hanada Lanmo over the years. Now, if he is asked to act like a big-tailed wolf and offend someone who has defeated Onoki, he won't do it. However, is Hanada Lanmo really that powerful? Hanada Hiyashi looked at him strangely and wanted to use his Byakugan to check the chakra status of his body, but had to give up because Danzo was sitting opposite. You, well, I came here in vain today, Hanada Lanmo, are you really not rooted? Danzo stood up. This was his last time to ask Hanada Lanmo with kind words. No, never. Hanada Lanmo suppressed the anger in his heart and said, who did he think he was? Okay, just wait. After saying that, Danzo angrily left the main house, jumped, and left Hanada and Hiyashi's home directly. Hanada Lanmo lowered his head slightly, saluted Hanada Hinato, then stood up and turned to leave. When he left, Hanada Hiyashi used his Byakugan to check the chakra all over his body. Only the thin, silky chakra was swimming in his meridians. This is not even as good as a genin, right? It seems that the rumors are indeed false, but why does Danzo insist on having this child? Isn't this too strange? When Hanada Lanmo returned home, his friends had already left, and the yard was dark. He went into the house, turned on the light, and started to wash up and get ready for bed. When I was sleeping until midnight, suddenly a pair of arms grabbed the bed, followed by a bang, a puff of white smoke rose, and the person on the bed turned into wood. Looking at Hinata Lanmo, he has already entered the courtyard, and five or six Anbu masters have surrounded him. Danzo was standing in the dark. He was really crazy. He actually attacked him in the village. Take it down, you'll see me alive, you'll see your body dead. As soon as these words were spoken, all the Anbu around them rushed forward. Hanada Lanmo made several leaps to fight with the opponent. And in the darkness, there is a pair of eyes looking here through the crystal ball. He is the Sandame Hokage, Seru Tobi Hirazan. Next to him, stood a man wearing a mask. This man was not tall, had white hair, and was clean and fresh. This man was the teenage Kakashi Hataki. Sir, do you want to do something? He asked in a low voice. Sandai shook his head, don't worry, let's see what he can do. He's very fast. As soon as he finished saying this, Hinata Lanmo over there had already shaken off a few Anbu people and appeared on Donzo's head, today, either you die or I die. After saying that, he suddenly jumped up and a powerful bolt of lightning appeared in his hand, striking the person below him. Danzo dodged the wind release shuriken. Donzo's wind release shuriken is made by injecting wind release into ordinary shuriken to increase the sharpness of the shuriken so that it can easily cut rocks. It's also wind escape, thousand winds chaos blade. Hinata Lanmo on the opposite side didn't even dodge, and directly used wind escape to fight against it. I only heard a whooshing sound in the air, and then thousands of wind release wind blades appeared beside Hinata Lanmo and rushed towards the opposite side. So strong. The injured Anbu root quickly retreated. Danzo saw this and used wood escape to block it. However, his Senfeng Ranran did not start in a straight line. Many of them could rotate and turn. Danzo blocked the wood escape in front of him. His pants were cut off in the back, and his buttocks were shot directly. The wind release wind blade entered the body, and the pain was unbearable. The kind of wind cut was different from the wounds caused by ordinary concealed weapons. 
In addition, the amount of Hanada's blue ink chakra was huge, and the Thousand Wind's blade's ability was very strong. The blade that stabbed Danzo the wind blade pierced directly into his pelvis and then disappeared. Ah! He couldn't help but shouted, wind escape, vacuum jade. This ninjutsu was aimed at the target, like a machine gun, bursting out wind attacks continuously. Danzo's eyes popped out, he looked closely at Hinata Amo, and launched a series of attacks against him. Hinata Lanmo snorted coldly when he saw this scene. A huge earth escape appeared in front of him to block the opponent's attack. Then he used a teleportation technique and came to Donzo's back. The cutting technique. That's enough, don't kill anyone. Sandai appeared and quickly stopped Hinata Amo. Before he finished the hand seal, Danzo turned around and used wood release to catch him. In this way, it becomes the three generations and Danzo who arrest people. Seeing this scene, Hinata Lanmo opened his mouth, steam escape, burst with anger. A huge explosion sounded, and the third generation withdrew. Danzo was injured in the pelvis, and it was too late to escape when he saw the gas explosion. In order to survive, he had to quickly lie on the ground. Even so, the right side of his face was still affected by the gas. Burned. Moreover, the explosion was so powerful that when he was lying on the ground, all the clothes on his back were blown to pieces. Even if his body was not hurt, the clothes on his back were blown to pieces. Kakashi came to Hinata Lanmo, lowered his head and asked, are you okay? Hinata Lanmo stepped back, his brows furrowed tightly as he looked at the people in front of him. The third generation quickly explained, Hinata Amo, I asked Danzo to come here today to give you a test. Congratulations, you have graduated from the ninja school. This is a forehead protector. Tomorrow you can form a team to perform tasks. Got it. With that said, Sandai handed over a forehead protector. Hinata Lanmo's frown deepened. He glanced at Danzo. The Anbu root man had already taken some clothes and put them on him. He stood up and looked at him sinisterly. His legs were a little lame. He looked badly injured. Did Hokage-sama ask Danzo to come here? to tell me that he wanted to see people alive in his corpse when he died. Hinata Lanmo's whole body was cold, and his body suddenly levitated and slowly rose. In the night sky, he was floating in the air, his clothes were fierce, like a god descending to earth. He just wants to arouse your fighting spirit. Sandai is still lying. Hinata Lanmo laughed, one by one, it's really a good trick, even a six-year-old child is spared. Danzo, don't you think I don't know what you did? When Danzo heard this, his eyes were cold and stern. The strange thing in my heart is, is Konoha like this really worthy of so many people dying for it? After saying that, Hinata Lanmo jumped up and disappeared into the night. Duanzo, if you don't force him today, he won't leave. Sandai turned to Danzo and shouted, Anbu, hurry up and chase without any physical conflict, and let Jiraiya and Tsunade go immediately. Come back and find me this child. Sandai now regrets it very much. If he knew that this child had made up his mind, he would not have spoken for Danzo just now. His mind is definitely not that of a child. He is more mature and smarter than adults. And Hinata Lanmo has not left at all. He is now in the territory of the Konoha Uchiha family. He sat on a telephone pole outside the yard of Uchiha Itachi's house, reached out and used wind release to knock on the window of Itachi's room. After a while, Itachi jumped out of the room. The two came to the small park next to the Hokage rock wall. There was a small field here and an iron fence on one side. From here, they could directly see the panoramic view of the entire Konoha. But at this moment, the night is dark and there is no one here. Itachi, I'm here to say goodbye to you. Hinata Lanmo said. Where are you going? Itachi frowned and asked. He has been busy practicing recently and has not had a good chat with him. He has heard rumors about him. To be honest, when he heard that others knew that his ninjutsu was powerful, he was very happy for him. But now, why did he leave Konoha? He didn't know much about this, but he thought something must have happened that he couldn't bear. Otherwise, how could he have chosen this path? The world is big. As long as I can protect myself, I can go anywhere. Hinata Lanmo didn't want to explain too much. Uchiha Itachi nodded. The two children stood at the height of Konoha and looked at the entire village. They didn't speak for a long time. Itachi Uchiha is a person with a very high IQ. 
During the silence between the two of them, he had thought about all the things he could encounter in the future. Finally, he said, Fortunately, I have seen your ninjutsu, otherwise. Even if you die, I won't let you leave Konoha. It's very chaotic outside. During the Third World War, I saw many children lose their lives because of the war. Fortunately, you are strong enough. He said deeply and sighed again. Will we meet again in the future? Yes. Itachi, before I leave, I will do one thing for you. I hope you will have a happy family in the future and a happy family reunion. Hinata Lanmo looked at him and smiled. What's the matter? Uchiha Itachi asked. It's a small matter, Itachi, I won't say any more. It's time for me to leave. Goodbye. After Hinata Lanmo finished speaking, he transferred to another space and disappeared. Uchiha Itachi stood there and sighed deeply, turning his head to look at the entire Konoha. No matter what choice he made, he was still his friend. In the deep tunnel, a group of people made the sound of stampeding. A light was on in a room in the distance, and bursts of screams came from inside. Danzo-sama, you must bear it. The wound must be cleaned before further treatment can be carried out. Please bear it. The medical ninja next to him said. I can't help it, hurry up. Danzo's irritable voice sounded, Hinata Lanmo, little, I will never forget the humiliation today. Sooner or later, I will let you die in my hands. Humph, you thought you were awesome, right? Are you playing tricks on me? If you weren't forced to leave Konoha by me, you will be the enemy of Konoha from now on. Your friends will want to kill you when they see you. Jiraiya and Tsunade only want to bring you to justice when they see you. Do you think you victory? I tell you, you will never defeat me in this life. Danzo muttered to himself angrily, and the next second, a medical ninja standing next to him, Yu Yu, asked. You have wood release, you must know the art of cutting, right? Danzo frowned and looked back, what do you mean? Suddenly, the tall medical ninja on the scene turned into Hinata Amo with a transformation technique, and then his fingers were already placed on his body, wood release, cutting technique. Ah. Severe pain exploded from Danzo's body, and he only made one sound before he died completely. Today will be an ending you will never forget for the rest of your life. Hinata Lanmo looked at the corpse in front of him, with a sneer at the corner of his mouth, then took off his white coat and threw it on the ground. He lowered his head to admire Danzo who was stabbed to death by the cutting technique in front of him, and said, not bad, very perfect art. Taste. The medical ninjas on both sides were so frightened that they collapsed on the ground. Some people simply fled the room and shouted loudly as they ran, oh no, someone has killed Danzo. The evening breeze was blowing, and on the high mountain, Hinata Lanmo stood on the top of the tall tree, looking at the clear starry sky, inhaling the air hard, and then opening his arms. This was the breath of freedom. From now on, he would no longer have to worry about Konoha or those intrigues. Worry. He reached out and touched his eyes, with a smile on his lips. Since he is no longer in Konoha, let him continue to complete other tasks of the system. Didn't the system say so? When he trains the Ten Tails, he will give him a mysterious gift package. He has to work hard for the gift package. Thinking of this, he lowered his head slightly and searched for the current location of each tailed beast in his mind. After calculating the time, he concluded that the three wars had just ended and all nine tailed beasts had been sealed in the human pillars by the major ninja villages. In the body of force. Among them, the one-tailed Shukaku Gara, the nine-tailed Lama Uzumaki Naruto, are still babies under one year old, and the seven-tailed Takaakifu is unknown now. It was a bit of an inopportune time to go to them. The rest, the two-tailed Jinchuriki Yuki and the six-tailed Rhinoceros Jinchuriki Yugao are about the same age as him, so they are pretty much the same. There is also the three-tailed Jinchuriki Yagura. Thinking of him, Hinata Lanmo thought of Uchiha Obito who is currently using illusions to control Yagura in Karigakur village. This infatuated species, in order to avenge Hirano Lin, can destroy the entire Karigakur village. Enough harm. This method of revenge is unprecedented. Since Yagura forced Hirano Lin to become the three-tailed Jinchuriki, Uchiha Obito also forced him to become the three-tailed Jinchuriki. Even though he couldn't understand his hatred by simply killing him, Uchiha Obito turned the village he cared about most upside down, and in the name of Yagura, he made him infamy for eternity. This method was truly incredible. 
It takes 10 years to sharpen the edge, and the knife pierces people's hearts. Hanada Lanmo thought of this and smiled. He decided to go to Karigakur village. Thinking of this, he jumped from the tree and headed south. He was not in a hurry along the way. He stopped and walked. When he encountered a place with good scenery, he would stay for two days. When the weather was bad, he would go there. Find a place to hide and practice on your own. Finally, half a month later, he arrived at a small town by the sea in the southern part of the country of fire, ready to take a rest before heading to the country of bears, and then take a boat to the country of water. The reason why he didn't directly transfer to Karigakur village was because he wanted to walk along the way and appreciate the different scenery and customs. When he arrived in the town, he just entered a restaurant when he saw Jiraiya's exaggerated smile. He turned and left, and Tsunade behind him blocked the door. You brat, we too didn't offend you, did we? Can't we just sit down and talk? Tsunade stretched out her hand to hold his finger and walked inside. Hanada Lanmo frowned slightly, feeling a little uncomfortable in her heart. Come and sit here. Jiraiya had already ordered a few dishes and prepared a bottle of fruit wine for him. This alcohol is low, it doesn't matter if you drink a little. Come on. Jiraiya poured him a glass of wine and Tsunade got him some food. At this moment, Shizun walked in from outside. As soon as she entered the door, she saw Hanada Lanmo at a glance. Lanmo, Master Tsunade said before that you might come here, but I didn't expect you to actually show up here. Holding several large and small packages in her hands, she came to Hanada Lanmo and hugged him in her arms. You must have suffered a lot, that Danzo is really annoying. Shizun, don't talk nonsense. Tsunade reminded, even if some people in the top management have terrible characters, they are not the ones who can evaluate them. That's right, I hate him the most. After saying that, Shizun sat next to Hanada Lanmo and opened the package in her hand. I heard that you are going to travel for a few years, so I bought you a lot of things. These are underwear. You can't always wear old clothes when you are out alone. Wash them frequently and change them frequently. These are thicker clothes. If you go to the north, where there is heavy wind and snow and cold weather, you always use chakra to prevent air conditioning. It is very inconvenient when sleeping and resting. Wearing more clothes can save energy. These are shoes, I made them for you three months ago, and they were not finished until three days ago. At this point, Shizun couldn't speak anymore. She curled her lips and couldn't hold back the tears. Hanada Lanmo stretched out his hand to touch her back and comforted her, I'm fine, don't worry. Shizun nodded heavily, sniffed, and continued to flip through the package for him, this is some food. Don't always eat military food. Although that food relieves hunger, it doesn't taste very good. There are also some medicines and there are medicinal materials and medical equipment, which you can use when learning from Mr. Tsunade's handbook. You put these in a big scroll for easy portability. Hanada Lanmo couldn't tell her how she felt now. Jiraiya and Tsunade didn't come to him to take him back, they came to see him off, and Shizun, he really couldn't let her go. Come on Lanmo, let's have a drink. Jiraiya raised his cup and said, come back to Konoha often in the future. As for Danzo, don't worry, he won't dare to do anything to you again. Is he still alive? Hanada Lanmo frowned. Is he dead? Jiraiya had never heard such news and looked at Hanada Lanmo in surprise. Hanada Lanmo didn't say anything. Indeed, how could someone like him die all of a sudden? If he is still alive now, it proves that he used a zanagi. I thought I could remove a future stumbling block for Uchiha Itachi, but I didn't expect that I still couldn't do it. If Danzo hadn't been there, maybe Uchiha Itachi wouldn't have had to make that difficult choice in the future, killing his entire family and defecting to Konoha. Regardless of whether he was a double agent or someone who still cared about Konoha even after leaving Konoha, he hoped that he could live a happier life. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.